What is good, friends? We're here with uh, OU Premier League. This is the auction. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 teams. BBC Kings, managed by Matty Brolic and OB, CB Jose Altuve Corvettes. Uh, managed by Sam and uh, Meeps. Then we have the TDKs and Pearls team. I'm not going to read them all, you can read it yourself. And here we got Young Seal in the call. And the first um, player that got numbed is M Dragon. By the Spaghettis. Who is, who is Spaghettis? Who is that? <laughs> that's a fire name, dude. Oh, um, that's TDKs that's and Pearls team. team. Okay. So yeah, I'm Dragon. Um, he managed the Sharks in SPL. He is well known and he was a TD. And yeah, he's gonna go for a lot of money. B2B wants him. He, B2B played for him in SPL. But yeah, uh, our friend BTB is managing, so this is like the most interesting part. Because he might draft uh, some of the people from our chat, but yeah, not sure. If he, uh, if he doesn't draft me, I'm going to kill his family, so that's going to be kind of fun as well. <laughs> I hope you're just joking, but yeah. Um, I know you're joking, I don't hope. So the Immortal Fountains is a uh, BTB team that got them dragging for 20,000. So they're already wasting a lot of their money, but... That's not that, that's not waste as an M Dragon is gonna be a goat player, but like some money is gone. Unfortunately, you guys cannot really read that it says M Dragon here because I have like two browsers open because there's like two chats. Because I want you guys to see the auction and the discussion chat at the same time, and yeah, I don't really know how to do it besides with having two browsers open and like put them next to it's each other. Because Dockers couldn't find anyone who wouldn't cry if they didn't get drafted, so yes, I honestly don't care. So, except for the murdering family part, but yeah, it's only B2B's family. Nobody okay, so really this is cares. Gondra so. right now, nomed by the um, Zomox team. Okay, so Gondra was, uh, I think, on the Raiders in SPL, right? And he won his SPL finals match. He did, he did okay, but I don't remember his overall record in SPL. He went for 9k, that's okay. Like, I think he could have gone for a bit more, but that's that's a fine price. So, uh, TDK and Paul got Gondra. So we got like two known players so far, M Dragon and Gondra. Um, yeah, we are hoping, I'm hoping to see my man Ultra Balls get drafted and who else from then? I guess maybe Insult, maybe... Uh, uh, King, King K. the GOAT. Yeah, maybe Colin aka Avon who might be joining this recording later. So BKC now, uh, BKC is gonna go for a lot. I would assume he's gonna go for like 28 minimum. <laughs> uh, BKC um, was also on the Raiders, they lost SPL in finals and... I think he went for like, how much in SPL? Was it 30 or 40k? He went for like a lot in SPL. But yeah, last year there was like Ray Scarface in this tournament and he got bought for a lot as well. So, and then I think he didn't even play every week. It was kind of weird. But yeah, BKC should go for at least 28 like I said. At the moment, and they're kind of taking their time right now, so maybe 22 is that it? 23 maybe? It's kind of interesting. I think Abika is a way better player, he's very, very well rounded in a lot of tiers. So, yeah, well, oh, yeah. That's so, quite in, in OUPL, there's gonna be um, Sanamon OU, Aurus OU, Black and White, DPP, and ADV, right? I think that's all the tiers. There's like, I think, three Sanamon slots and one slot for the other tiers, but I'm not exactly sure. We were gonna look at the format after. And yeah, I'm gonna be uploading some of the matches as well, obviously. Only the GOAT matches as well. But yeah, it's uh, BTB's and X-Ray's turn now to numb someone. Uh, John aka Brofist. Did did really, I didn't think he would sign up for this. But yeah, Brofist is... Because he went for 22 only, right? That's that's not that much, I didn't expect that. But yeah, uh, Brofist is gonna go for 25 or 20... Like, definitely for 20. Maybe a bit more. In a room like this, yeah, it depends on your draft plan, but I think BKC is more valuable than Brofist. And they only spent 22k on him, but yeah, Brofist is... Like, but Brofist is still one of the best Ultra Summon OU players. Basically, uh, BKC can play everything. He can play... Gen 3 to 7, yeah. Pretty sure he can play them all. I mean, he can play, even, even so play Gen 1 and 2, but... I don't follow those gens, so I can't say anything about that. But yeah, Brofist going up and... Uh, Meeps wants him. Crashing Boom Bullies by Jirachi. Who's the second manager on that team? Jirachi and who? Oh yeah, it's Blunder, I think. Blunder. Jirachi's uh, yeah. co-host managing with Blunder. I think. But yeah, maybe um, the 28 that I thought um, BKC would go for. Maybe Brofus will hit that number. 
Profist. I think BKC is more valuable, but it, like like I said, it depends on your draft plan for sure. I mean, like it depends how is much uh, Brofist cares about this tour. If he cares about this tour, he's gonna be uh, definitely pretty valuable in Sentiment OU. Every single week, so unless like good prep, like maybe. Okay, Blunder's team got Brofist for 26k. So yeah, you can see here every team has 100k. Um, I don't know what's the minimum of players that you have to get. I think it's like 10 players that you have to get minimum, but I'm not sure at all. I don't remember the last from last year. Pretty sure it's 10. Okay, Blunder's team, um, who are they norming now? Omari P? Is that really Omari P or are they joking? Or what? Are they actually trying to, are they actually trying to nom Omari P first? Because that's, I mean, I mean, I know they want him and I know it's a cool meme pick, but you know. Like, Omari P, he has like, that one team and then he changes like one mono round, he's like four versions of it. It's like, there's like the no water resist what? special, like people make fun of it because he has no water resist. It's like, uh, Zard wise the water resist and it's like Nidor King, mm -hmm. Mew, Hoopa, I think regular Hoopa sometimes. Okay, no, nominated FLCL, FLCL, okay. So the other one was just a joke, right? I still want him though, as like a meme pick, but... Cause I've heard I've heard talk about uh, Blunder saying like if you go for more than the five k I will like update your players and everything, but yeah. My yeah, FLCL is going for a lot. I don't know what he plays, but he can definitely play uh, a lot of gens probably. Like I know in in Gen Seven at the moment the current gen, he's a god at NU if I'm not mistaken, but NU is not in this. Okay, so FLCL going for a lot. Did FLCL just go for more than? 26k BKC, seems yeah, like yeah, a little yeah, bit too insane. much in my opinion uh, because BKC went for less, but yeah. So deal. They have FLCL. So we have pretty much only known players drafted so far, but we will have um, like some quote-unquote randoms drafted in this for sure. I know that Psychic Mute is probably gonna get drafted, and well, it's looking forward to the Den kids though from our Discord. Yeah, I don't know who signed up from Dan. I know Dan is only signed up for likes, he's scum as fuck. But yeah, Dennis might also be joining the recording later, I don't know. After he loses and Smokers, Smokers going on at the moment. Mm, yeah. So yeah, I'm also recording this for people that play Astros and can watch it live. I mean, BDB said, I think, that he's gonna get at least two people from our Discord, but maybe, um, maybe more, but depends on how, what X-Ray says. Okay, Psychic Mewtwo, I just talked about him. He's uh, He also played in SPL. He can play Auras and Gen 7 as well. So he should go for like, I would say 14 maybe. Yeah, 15, 14, something like that. And yeah, he's friends with Zomok, so I assume Zomok is gonna try to get him. Who numbed him? I didn't pay attention because I'm like half asleep. Oh yeah, Cory numbed him. Okay. Trans Corey, yeah. So Cory is managing with um, probably some other French player. I didn't check that yet. He's ma managing with Wellyu. Okay. Well, I owe you Wellyu. I'm not never sure how to pronounce that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah th like I, I said, Zomo probably wants his friend Saki Mewtwo. They are on the same SPL team, and I think they even like they met up IRL. Yeah, yeah. They posted a photo somewhere. I'm not gonna show that here because I don't know if I'm allowed to. They showed that in our disc in my Discord. Oh, Zomo showed it. Um. So yeah, um, I would at least say 14. Seems like a steal at the moment. It's kind of a steal to be honest, and I see Meep saying okay, so I think he's just giving up. Sagimutu also played in this uh, last year, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't remember his record at all. It's so pretty much last year, uh, Medibrolic was uh, picking up all his friends. He picked up like, uh, like uh, what's the guys called? Like Top Tier Boy, Gypsy King, them guys, I forgot who else, Ricardo. Did he pick up Ricardo? I think he did. I'm not sure. I think he did. Okay, so who is not now? Meng. Okay, so Meng is a go. He can play pretty much everything. So he's gonna go for at least 25, I would assume. So he can. He's a go at black, white, at gen. He's good at gen six as well. Uh, probably is even great gold at gen four and three, but I have no idea about old gens. But yeah, if he goes for less than 23, something is wrong here. Yeah, Some of these GTA names are really weird. Really this this riots and city spaghettis. I guess there's someone. Auction like info. I got I got beta. I thought he already got picked, but the Corey nice auction info. Okay, nice. let me just Next check. Corey, you can't scroll up. 
Let me just check the current teams because I didn't see who got him. Yeah, yeah, I also saw he got picked already, but it's still going up. Okay, so the only team with two players is Zomok. They have Bigacy and Psychic Mewtwo. So the um, the Spaghetti's got him. And now BBC King's Medibrox team is gonna... Maybe nom uh, some of Medibrox's friends, or maybe a triad player, we will see. I'm not saying they're bad, his friends, but... Like, that was, like, what his team was specifically last year. Just mainly his friends, he didn't, like, care. How does his team do? Yeah. Uh, he brought, like, a meme team. Like, his team was, like, um, cream teams, right? That's how Medibrox calls them. I think they got to finals, if I'm not mistaken. When they lost in finals. The deciding game was like TDK versus Gypsy, and if Gypsy won, it would have been tiebreak. I think I'm not that sure, but I think that's about. Tl6, Tl6 is getting nommed here, and okay, Tl6 is, is playing um, ADV. Okay. This is interesting. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell this, but BTB told me that he wants. I mean, I don't know if he told me, but uh, I know I know from BTB that he wants Tl6 to play ADV. So I hope someone else snipes him so I can steal BTB's ADV slot now, JK. But um, <laughs> yeah. Also, um, it says right there when they bid on the player what tier the player plays and I didn't pay attention to that earlier, so I'm gonna do that from now on. So yeah, Teal is only playing ADV, but he's gonna be quite valuable. I think he would, he's probably gonna go for like 15, 16. I mean, like, I've heard from BTB that Teal wants, only wants to play ADV, but... Oh, also, in, yeah, yeah, that's the only thing he signed up for. Also, this year there is, for OU as well. there is um, a tier. That is like um, smoke to a steel. Okay, so he went for. Th oh no, it's still going. The thing popping in like thought I thought it was over. <laughs> still going. So yeah, like I said, fifteen, sixteen makes don't sense. Still not to up. It's wild. Basically, there's a smoke to a steel. He's gonna get him. In this, where it's best of three, black, white, auras, and sun and moon. So yeah, the BBC Kings Medibonics team got teal. Um, probably Obi or Maddie know him. I'm not sure though. So yeah, um. Still might be hyped here. The BTB doesn't have an ADV slot yet. Um, well, I'm not not really hyped, but uh, that's yeah. Cool, no, I guess. I'm just kidding. Yeah, stop First. doing auction info in the middle of a non please. Exactly, I agree with TDK here. So Ray Scarface. Um, so Ray Scarface, I think he went for like thirty-ish last year for like a lot of money. Like I don't remember exactly, but he went for so much money. And then like the rest of the team was like a lot of cheap players, if I recall correctly. But yeah, Ray Scarface is gonna go for like twenty, I would assume this year. I don't think he would go that much higher. What did he sign up for? Um, uh, players just some just, of these players just didn't sign up because everyone already knows what they play. So um, oh yeah, he just didn't put the tier. They just said okay. okay they just said because everyone already knows. Yeah, but I know that Ray can definitely play a lot of tiers. Probably. Um, Don't pay for Ray Scarface. He went for twelve. Okay, that's cheap as fuck. Does not make sense. Yeah, okay, I don't know. Well, I, I can understand why, because last year he didn't care that much about this tour, and I think some weeks he didn't end up playing, and then they had to sub him out. So it makes some sense in that regard. So, who got him Amazing for 12k? Player. This is like going too fast. Blunders. Blunders team? Corvettes. No, no, not the Corvettes, DB, yeah, the Boom Bullies. So, he is getting nominated, or Hai, I don't know how to pronounce his boy's name, but... Yeah, high is fire. Uh, see, as I see, as you see here. Yeah, I think he OU had a positive OU. record in SPL, if I'm not mistaken. And I think he even beat updated Kent, who had a gold record. He was like nine and three in SPL, and he beat him. So uh, he is also the Smoktus champion. So he should at least go for like eighteen, maybe twenty. In in theory, he would be the best at playing the Smoktus tier. So. Yeah, exactly. That's the Smoktus tier, where it's Gen five, six, and seven, best of three. Uh, ABR also oh, I think signed he up. got most of his points. ABR signed up for that as well, but he um, deleted his sign-up post, and so did Sabella. So that's yeah, that's quite unfortunate. Would have been cool to see those um, like known players sign up, more known players sign up. Like there's like there is known players, but there's also like randoms. You guys will see like later on in the drift, like I said earlier. So yeah, he's going. I would. I don't think he's gonna go much higher than twenty. Yeah, I think he's pronounced he yeah. Um, because I used to, like someone kept telling me that I pronounced his name wrong, so until it, until I got it correct. I don't think it's high. Yeah, I think it's here, and he also called for OT uh, multiple times for OT playoffs. So yeah, he's uh, kind of known as a ladder hero, I guess. <laughs> In my opinion, um, yeah, some like people still sleep on this man, even though he's done so much. 18K, 18K is, that's, that's okay. That's like, like. Uh, like you can say somewhat of a steal, but not really. Like that's like a fair price, I think. Appreciate this. The Sprouts already spending more than half their money on three players. Well, it's three good players, so I don't like. I, mean, I still kind of agree with it, but I don't know. You can see Psychic Mutant here. Okay, 
on Zomok CL team. Yeah, I mean, if they're gonna care about the tour, then you have pretty much two or three guaranteed wins. That's cool. Well, you can't really say guaranteed wins because it's Pokemon Hex exists, and also the opponent can be like, like here could play like if did Kanto sign up? I think Kanto signed up for this, right? So like here versus Kanto would be a fire rematch. I don't know if Kanto signed up. I'm just hoping he did. I didn't check the sign up. So Roscoe, uh, I think he plays Gen 4, right? I'm not sure. He, he plays some old gen. Yeah, it's like some um, old gen between 3 and 5, I don't know which. I think I think it's DVP, uh, I, I think. The DVP, the Lord. I'm not too familiar with Roscoe. Uh, but I think I he's really... gonna go for 12 at least. And did he play an skill? I think he did. Also, but yeah, I don't really watch DVP that much. Yeah, like, I upload some DVP games without commentary because I have no idea what's going on. And I don't want to give like dog shit commentary. I should just learn the or... tier. Like, it's not that easy. But yeah, I think he's gonna go for like at least 12, maybe 14. Uh, if this is wrong and Roscoe plays like GSC or something, like something yeah, my bad. But yeah, we yeah. don't know. <laughs> and for a player who only plays one tier, I mean, kind of a steal maybe. I don't know how. So good Finn he is. is getting mad that he's getting like up bid. Is Finch even? No, Finch is hosting the tour this year. He's not managing right. But yeah, last year this, uh, the OUPL kind of was like a shit show because mm -hmm. uh, like some people just... Oh, CDC with ADV OU. Okay, that's interesting. Did he like sign up for ADV really or is that like... A <laughs> he might be playing... Okay, and honestly... Team. Thing is, honestly, I probably offend some people, but I think CDC is kind of garbage at the moment compared to other great names. But 3K is definitely a huge deal. Uh, but if he Wait, only did plays he go AV, for then... 3k or is it not over yet? Some reason. Wait, did he really go for 3? Wait, what the fuck? So Blanda got TTC for 3k, I thought it was still going for some reason. Because BTB, because BTB doesn't know how to type, so he instead Ooh, of typing 0.5, he, wanted, he typed BTB wanted to get him for... F okay. Nice and massive, he's probably on his uh, juicy Indian net. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna pause oh. real quick and change up the music because we had the same song for 18 minutes, 70 minutes. Okay, so who got normed or got bought? Because I had a pause and I didn't pay attention for a second. Okay, no one else got bought. So at the moment we have teams with two players, one team with three players, and then we have two teams with no player. Cory's team, Cory Value team, and Eternal Spirit. Who is this guy? Eternal Spirit, the second guy in Eternal's team. I have no idea who that is. But probably some old. That's not his main, I think. Nice redact redacted the Castellius. I don't even know how to pronounce that, I'm not gonna try. Two words. Um, okay, so Chill Shadow got normed and he plays a lot of tiers. So last year I know that he played Auras in this. So I would assume that uh, he's gonna go for like 13 minimum. Or uh, maybe 15. But yeah, I hope Dennis gets eliminated, eliminated in Esther soon so he can join the record. <laughs> JK. Mm. He uh, lost is, in round 3 yesterday really cool. and he wants to make round 3 or 4 at least today. Nice tours at the moment, but that might just be because there's no games. Yeah, sometimes in S2s they wait like... Just for one game for the next round to go. Some, because, some some kids, because some kids are like stalling for some reason. And but yeah, we can talk about up, so. a bit about Ultra Balls who should definitely get picked in this. So he uh, is in OST round, I think 7. So it's uh, top 32, which is pretty cool accomplishment. That's amazing. And I don't yeah, know if you turn him, did it turn him sign up for UPL? He's also in round 7 OST, so... For a mod Discord. I mean, I call them kids. <laughs> I don't know why I'm... Like, yeah. I don't know. Some, this is the thing I say, because uh, I'm a kid myself. But yeah, Ultra Ball is amazing in my opinion. He knocked out Googly in two games, which was fire. Because I mean, the reason he knocked him out is because he had amazing prep and he just built some two nasty C teams for him. But... I mean, that's like a 2-0 win is a 2-0 win. Okay, 12-5, um, that's kind of a steal, I would say. The ha the Hasty Hedron, so that's Corey's team, they get their first player. So that's not too bad, f um, they didn't like waste money or anything. Like some of these people, I think they could have been a bit more careful. Like they kind of spent a lot of money already. And it's like cool to get like a good player for only 12.5. Okay, Black Oblivion um, did amazing in SPL, I think 7-3 or something like that, I don't remember exactly, but he did positive. I went for, he finished positive. So he should go for 16, I would say, at least. Also, the BBC Kings, like, yeah, I think I said it already, already earlier, they bring like meme teams sometimes. 
Um, which can be like pretty embarrassing for the opponent if you lose to a meme team. And they cr they did that like sometimes last year. They bring like, as Blunder would say, heat. Like heat after heater, I don't know. But yeah, Medibro calls it cream teams. And they did pretty well for bringing like these teams. They made finals, like I said, last year. So yeah, um, he might go up to like 20, but I think 16 is like the minimum that he should go for. Um, he, um, like, I mean, you can say he got good matchup versus ABR, but he smashed ABR and SPL. But, like, Zardwai, I guess, is. Sometimes not prepped for, because. Some people say Zardwai is an unwon. But yeah, he's going for 20 now. Bah, bah. He might even go for 22, 23. He's going for a lot. I, um, I mean, I think Black Oblivion is amazing, but. It's if I was a manager, I would stop at, like, 22. I think this is. Now it's um, going too high. <laughs> Ridiculous. To be honest, but okay, if they go higher than 27, these guys are wild. Okay, it seems they have stopped now. If they know for the BBC Kings, okay, uh, probably some okay. Matty Brolic is uh, friends with him, he probably wants him really bad. Lee o Obi's probably friends with him as well, yeah. And for more than BKC and M Dragon, but that's fine, okay. That's a lot. I think that's the highest player yet, right, dog? Black for 25. No, I think there was someone for 28 earlier, right. Go for no M Dragon didn't go for twenty eight. Someone did. Would've. Like someone FLC I went for like a lot. It was like twenty three. I don't remember at all. This might have been, This is either the highest or the second highest. But yeah, I got some information from our boy Dennis the Dentist, aka Dennis the Menace. I just PM on Discord, but he's still in S Tours. But he will join when he gets. He's in round out. two or three. Because uh, S Tours is super slow. So okay, PC so gets PDC is in the. Uh, so PTC, I think, kind of took a break from tours for a while, but yeah, he can play pretty much every tier in this. So he should go for at least 16, I would say. Like, again, it uh, depends. Like, some of these two players, I don't know how much they care about OUPL because it's like kind of an untour. So if they don't care enough, oh, then they might just not skill. prep that much and they will not finish the, the best record, or sometimes they might just have to get subbed out if they don't care about the tour. But I assume that um, he's not gonna go for higher than 20, I don't think so. Like he might, but I would not bid higher than 20 is what I was trying to say. I'd yeah, this is, like, this is like a good price. So X-Ray is on BTP's team. 16.5. They can get- oh, he updated himself? Oh no, never mind. <laughs> I thought he updated himself. But yeah, TDK, um, you guys probably already saw TDK versus ABR SPL finals. Yeah, unfortunate hex in ABR's favor, but the Raiders also hexed quite a lot overall, in my opinion. So you can say it's just it, but it still sucked. Like TDK getting frozen on his on his Magna Zone, which meant Ladi could just recover up. And if Ladi was low, Glasgow could have definitely won the game. Uh, maybe I would have tried have tried to double his um, Ladi in and heal it, which would have been hard. But yeah, I don't know why I'm talking about a game that is not on the screen. But yeah, 19.5, which is okay. Like I said, I would not have gone higher than 20. So, um, PDC is now on which team? Spaghetti's. Uh, so, are the team. So, that's Pearl's, TDK's team. So, the Sprouts and the Spaghetti's both have the same amount of money with the same amount of players, which is kind of interesting. Players still do not oh have yeah. any players. It's also kind of interesting. Yeah, Eternal Spirit. But um, I'm, f I'm pretty sure there's like some okay. people like um, like Avon, they're gonna go for like relatively cheap and you can like steal them for like 5k. So who is getting better on? Pasha, okay. Pasha is fire, so he can Pasha play be fire. pretty much everything from 5 to 7. I know he also knows DPP, he helped me narrate DPP. I think, DPP think Pasha would be an amazing slot in the S Tour slot, right? Yes, you play Gen play 5 to Gen 7. So, um, S -tours and all this those is getting individual. super high. I would stop at 26 ish, 27 maybe. Um, but I can see this going to 30 for sure. Uh, Porsche won a smog tour. Porsche did, uh, how, how? I think he did not. This SPL he didn't do that well. Like, he kind of underperformed, but like, he can definitely do better again. And I think the, um, I think in Snake Draft he had a positive record in Sunman OU. And in in smoke tours, holy shit! In smoke tours, he also got pretty far. Like once he won it, and then another time, I think he was in quarterfinals or something. I don't remember exactly. Okay, it's the over thirty. This thirty is, is where I would definitely the highest that I would go. I would, say 27 I would stop like eight k ago, but 
I mean, Posh was amazing, and he would be like one of the best players in this. As someone squad. said, the face <laughs> Zomok is here saying he's uh, 9k higher than the best player of all time. I think he's talking about BKC, which a lot of people say because he is the best player of all time. And yeah, I can't say anything against that. You know, he's fire. Your team doesn't have enough funds. <laughs> which team? Remember, you will need to buy at least 10 players. Okay, so 30. CV Jose Alto we got him, uh, which is Meebs. For 30. So. Um, yeah, I think that's a bit too much. So, s look at. It's way too much. They have two players and they spend, like, so much money already. <laughs> so, they need, a, they need to get steals now. Keep, keep in mind, you need 10 players, but uh, exactly. So, I don't think you should have gone that. Your mom needs 10 players? Nice joke. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, um. I guess Meeps is gonna get like some joke picks later, meme picks for like 3k. That's what he, if he like he has to do that because he already has like spent so much money. And, to, and like since you need 10 players, then you can only afford cheap players later. Which means if there's like, if there's, like another player you want and um, the other people upbid, then you cannot keep upbidding because yeah, you're gonna be too broke. So that might uh, come to bite him later, but um, having Porsche obviously is great. <laughs> Let me change okay, the music so again and pause it. Okay, so Rob Pokotg Gamer is uh, getting numb now. So he won his build with the Wolfpack. He played Yu there, did pretty well. He um, had a good, I think, positive record last year. No UPL. Uh, he beat some known players. I think he beat Alexander last year. I don't remember exactly who he played though. But yeah, the. I know that Manny Brolic is gonna try to get him because he's friends with him. Obi, Manny Brolic team, C the Sea Kings. So I think Rob should go for like 14 at least. So Rob is our boy. Yeah, Rob is also on Discord, um, but he's like... Like basically what Seal earlier said with kids, he meant then kids. Those are like people that are like just from our chat and then there's like... People that we wouldn't call then kids, like Rob and Kendo, they're like... They already played in tours, they're like more known. Exactly, I mean... Colin is also also. Oh yeah, was Colin in also was in SPL on the. Uh, he's like he's like an OG back when our Discord team. was on Skype. <laughs> what was he, the Brovis team play? again? The Bigs. He was on the Bigs, and he was like pretty much helping there, and he like helped prep uh, John for ABR, I think, and he also helped uh, Meeps. Not Meeps. He helped EO prep. Like EO used one of his sets, uh, which was like defensive Sky Shrugglander, which was an interesting set. So Pokédex you gamer for 14.5. I think I said at least you should go for around 14. So yeah, that's a fair price. Like fun. that's kind. Of, like I even want to say that's kind of a steal. And yeah, the Seekings got him. The steal because there's no Yu Yu and like. They got him, but Black Oblivion they spend a lot of money on. So they, I want to say they're kind of broke because they only have three players, but they will get like top tier probably and like other players that they can get for like three or five k. Hey, like, you could say you could say they're friends. broke, but. The Spaghetti and the Strouds only have 5k more and they also have 3 players. And the Corvettes, they have the same money and they have 2 players, so... Yeah. With no players, though. Uh, Sprout Tower, Sprout's turn to choose a player. CL and Zomog. So yeah, BDB wanted to manage yeah. with Zomog, but... Nice top 10 anime betrayal, so... Um, thankfully, BDB found someone else to manage with, so he's managing with X right now. So, Rotary Biltar. Uh, I know he played... I think Aras in World Cup last year, if I'm not mistaken. In SPL, he played um, NU, if I'm not mistaken. So I just know that he can play Gen 6 and you can probably just play Gen 7. And then we can play lower tiers, but lower tiers are not in this. But yeah, he sh he's definitely good. Um, he likes to play really aggressive. Oh. Sometimes, maybe even a bit too aggressive. He only goes for 8k. I was going to say like 10k would have been fa fine, but he goes for 8. So that's kind of a steal from the Hasty Heatrons. Nice Cory and Value. Korean value having um, two players and like still a lot of money. Nice cheap players. <laughs> okay, the. So it's the um, Stewards turn. Uh, oh, this team that doesn't have any player. Do they have one? No, they have no player and they have the numb now. Okay. That doesn't mean they're gonna get because they can still get overbid, however you say that. Like, you're just gonna for, trash. Um, this is what I did for like. Uh, I was managing for like some on tour and I just chose like known players so other people would waste their money first. Yeah, so that's they might kind of smart. That. I mean, kind of all the known players, not all the known players, but all the money has kind of already been spent, so that strategy doesn't really work right now. <laughs> I mean, in that sense, since they don't have a player yet, and the other people kind of already spent their money, they have a good chance to get a good player for like a bit cheaper. So that's kind of cool. 
think the supers are. Uh, I think Eternal Spirit has a good approach, and his Asman, uh, who I don't know who. Yeah, that I don't is. know who that is. <laughs> this is a weird name. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. Oh, they're talking probably like um, Portuguese or whatever you speak in Brazil. <laughs> I need to be getting mad or whatever <laughs> that emoji <laughs> means. Oh, they're looking for a player on the playlist, and I can't find him. Well, it's time for me to pause it. Okay, so we can see here now, uh, Lycan's got normed. So it's, um, he's from Latin America, right? I don't know what country exactly. But he can play pretty much Gen 6 and 7. I think it's, like, I know in s two he was, if I'm not mistaken, he got to s 2s playoffs once, but I don't remember exactly. But I think his Black White was his weakest link, but Gen 6 and 7 was where he was good. I might be wrong here, because I think the last I remember Lycan's got... Yeah, I think he lost Literally to Bengay himself. last year, right, in playoffs. But he should, um, he can go for like 15k for sure. The good player. Um, yeah, I assume that since they normed him and they still have all the money they want, they can get them, the, the Eternal Spirit team. They can get them for like 13 or 14. Oh, well, you the 12. So the tran he oh, trans well, you got him. Ooh. So Korean value, um, I think they're going. They're getting the players cheap, and they're not bad players. Chill, chill, well, and at the moment with their money. I like that team, yeah. Uh, what does BTB have on his team? Let me check real quick. He has M Dragon only. Okay. M Dragon, but they get to Nam one now, so that's okay. gonna be fun. So okay. um, M Dragon only. Teal already is picked. Otherwise, maybe he would have known Teal now. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. He's probably gonna know like. Super tryhards first before he's gonna nom his friends, is what I would say. <laughs> Since he still has a good Probably amount of discussing mind. with X-Ray who the nom. Nice X-Ray aka Biba, um... Was, um, yeah, like basically he was in our tours, like an Antu that I was hosting. And he signed up with an alt and so only one or two managers knew it was him, so he went for 3k. And yeah, I didn't want him to have X-Ray for 3k, so next time... Everyone knows Biba is X-Ray and he's gonna go for more money and he's gonna be allowed to play. But yeah. You can say that I like that it was bad hosting. I don't know. Empo got nominated and they're going in. Okay, Empo, um good player, he won championship, he um was an SPL, I don't remember exactly his record, I think he did, didn't do that well, but he also got hexed one game is what I remember. And yeah, he also made Estos playoffs once at least. I'm not sure if he did more often than once, but yeah, Empo should go for like 15, right? 15, 16k. Uh, since BTB nommed him or X ray nommed him, I didn't pay attention who exactly did. I think X ray did. Um, I think they want him. So that means they could probably go to like at least 16. They want him. I haven't seen I haven't seen a bid from them since 7k and they're at 10k right now, so I don't know if they really want him. I guess, I guess, I guess they didn't want to go too high on him. <laughs> yeah, I don't see them bidding. It's 11k. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think the BTBs That's are That's weird go. though. Because like they could at least try to get him for 14, in my opinion. Um, because that he's definitely worth 14k. Well, you want the heat trans are trying to get another cheap player here. Yeah, they're trying to steal everyone. Can I buy Corey? Okay, so BTB is up there now. See exactly, that's what I thought. And he oh yeah, both. Tries to snatch up for 13k. Both people can obviously up with BTB and X-ray, like the two managers. So yeah, he's definitely gonna time. go for 16 at least. Um, I would say Does BTB do this? he can I, play like I'm, I don't know how good he's at black white, but I know Gen six and seven is pretty good. There's like some haters they say Empo should stick to laddering. Um, I think he's pretty solid. Uh, so uh, fourteen, that's kind of cheap. And yeah, BTB got him right, the Immortal Falcons. So M Dragon and Empo, which seems like a really good team so far. Well, kind of spend a lot of money, but th that's fine, that's fine. Because he can get some of his friends later for like 5k, I think. Um, like, I don't know if he wants to get insult, but I think insult might be a good steal uh, for black and white for like 5, 7k, something like that. Okay, so the Balanda team normed Lavos, um, which is uh, old gen GOAT. I know that he plays, I think, gen 1 or 2, which is not in this. But he's probably a gen 3 or 4 GOAT as well. No fucking clue though. But yeah, so um, I expect him to go for like 13 at least. I don't and know all these though. People spend their money. I think it's hard for me to tell because I have no idea what tier he plays from these lower gens. Or older gens. Lower gens sounds kind of disrespectful for the old gen gods. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> nice lower gens. 
Yeah, yeah I was kind of sick lot. last day. I'm feeling a bit better today, so, um, but like still kind of tired. So I don't know if this narration is that fire, but it should be fine to watch. We even have the, um, the juicy public chat at the side here with people um, commenting on the pics. But we have Dennis, who is probably going to be joining us since he is available right now. Be okay, cool. Uh, we have someone in call. Have is, to, is yeah, I might have to pause it and um, fix the audio from Dennis if he's too low or high. But yeah, now um, he's going kind of high. Like I know he's a goat on old gens, but I don't know in which one. So I wouldn't go higher than 17 though. So that's um, Eternal Spirits team, right? Who has got him for 16? Lavos. So they have. That's their first player. Okay, they didn't have a. Play. That seems fine. Yeah. They can still go in any direction. Okay, the hasty heat runs. Um, Corey and Well, you. I don't know. Did any French player sign up? I don't think Fidemar signed up for this. Because uh, if he did, I assume he they would norm him. I don't think the like, Ojama or Fidemar signed up for this. Is Dennis Eno who joined? Yes. Okay, nice. So, which round did you make it as to us? I got, I hexed round one and I got hexed round, round two, so I hey. lost round two. Nice eggs. Bench. So yeah, my, my mega, tita, mega tita should have won, but alas. Do you know if anyone is still in from then? Uh, I actually don't know, let me check. Probably some people, I, yeah. I would, I would guess Eclipse is still, is still in. Yeah, we're gonna pause real quick until they numb someone. <sighs> okay, so Sakuri gets numbed um, by Kari's team. Uh, he played UU in SPL. It was on the Sharks, right? I didn't think he. I don't think he had the greatest record, but he's a goat at UU. I'm not sure how he's an OU though, and which OU gen he plays. So I think he will not go for that much. Maybe for 10k, but I don't think he will go for much more. Have you been following the draft, Dennis? Did you check all the teams? What players they have? Mm, no, I. BTB I has M Dragon so far and Empo. BTB. Ooh. Yes. Okay, since yeah, but that makes sense. Since I don't know what tiers he plays. The heat trans getting him yeah, for Sakura only went for four. Like I said, like ten k is what I would have um, get max, but they yeah, get him for way less. But yeah, Corey's team is getting a lot of cheap team players. Is fire. Looks flames, yeah. Chilchella, Rodri, Lycans, and uh, Sakri. Like some of these people that don't main OU, they can go for cheap and they can still do well potentially, which uh, can be a good steal. We'll have to see that. I, I cannot. Um, Say anything about him in OU? I've never seen him play OU. I think he did quite well in OST though. I might have to look up in the thread which round he. Can you look that up for me, Dennis, in the OST thread which round Sakri lost? Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Only if you quick. can. Yes. I think he lost. I don't think he's still in. But... Who? 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 Sakri. No, Sakri is not in OST. He lost a few rounds ago. He okay, say, was it round five or four? I'm gonna check right now. I okay, so uh, Meep's team is gonna norm someone. They might wanna get um, Colin, aka Avon. But probably not now, probably a bit later on um, when the known players are gone. So they got FLC and Porsche so far. And they already wasted a lot of money though. No, Sakuri made it round 5. He okay. lost round 5. Okay, so they got Bushtush. Um, yeah, Bushtush pretty good. Should go for... I wouldn't say 14 at least. Maybe 15. So he did play uh, Yuyu in SPL, but he can also play OU. He's also playing in like Antus, like Hispanic Premier League at the moment, I think. Yeah. He did make ulti playoffs last year for Sun in Sun Moon OU, so he can play Gen 7 for sure. He can play Gen 6. And... I think he can play Jason 5 as well, but I don't know exactly how good he is at that. Burgia, yeah, I would say, um, I would not go higher than 17 or 18. Like, depends obviously um, on the team. If the team has, still has a lot of money left, like Corey's team, then they could potentially even go for 20k if they want. But I don't think he's. I don't think I would go higher than 20, even if I'm Corey's team. Or, like, who's even trying to get him? Obi's trying to get him. Who else? Oh yeah, Corey. the hasty heatrans tried to get him while you... Wait, Bushtus is going quite high. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I wouldn't go ahead and 20, um, obviously. Yes, this is Bushtus Blunder. Uh, Blunder is, yeah, I already said it, managing with Jirachi. I mean, it's kind of obvious if you have been following. But I'm kind of saying it to Dennis as well, because he just joined the call. Um, mm -hmm. 
BBC King is now going to norm. So Bushdush went for, what, 17? Yes. 17k on the hasty heat run. So Cory um, got him. And yeah, I think his team's pretty yeah, fire. Yeah, now Maddie Brolic is nominating Ricardo. It was expected. Oh yeah, Maddie Brolic norming his friends like Ricardo, Gypsy, and Top Boy probably later on the other two as well. Hey, you got Ricardo for 3k, so that's a steal. Um, Ricardo, that's a bad steal. Ricardo performed bad in SPL, kind of, but I know he's a good player and he did um, pretty good in the last OUPL. Um, the problem that people have with this is that um, I don't think Ricardo will care if any other team will get him aside from the BBC Kings, but I would definitely upbid him at least for yeah, at mean, least uh, three guys like a super steal, um, which is good for Manny Bollock because they had already um, a lot of money spent on Black Oblivion, and yeah, that that, that team is looking pretty cool. Uh, three of his friends, Black Oblivion, Poke I, mean, I don't know if Teal might be their friends too, but I know that the other two, three, B O Poketg Gamer and. Okay, Gypsy King. Friends. Yeah, I was about to say Gypsy King for free K would have been an even bigger steal. Okay, so now, now he's noming his friend again. Like I just said it earlier, Gypsy, and eventually Top Deeper is gonna nom probably. Um, yeah, Gypsy should go for like maybe 10k. This was the number one ranked player last OUPL. Just saying. Yeah, that was kind of I think a meme that he was ranked number one. Yeah. Um, he's not bad at all. But yeah. In World Cup, I think he went negative, but he definitely oh, won the game. Oh, X-Ray going for Gypsies. But yeah, Gypsies like the GOAT at Draft League. Probably under BTB suggestion, I wanna say. Oh, yeah, Vara's yeah, going yeah. up for 10k, okay, okay. Making, ooh, you see BTB uh, making uh, Obi and Manny waste more money. Yeah. JK, I'm not saying up waste, because um, Gypsy's a good player. Up man. And up man. Like, a fair price, would I was gonna say, a fair price would have been uh, 13. Got, like, 13 or 14 would have still been a fair price. But yeah, I got him for 10 5. Yeah, so, so far, I'm pretty sure Medi, Medi got all his friends. Yeah, Rob exactly, that's what I pretty much said in the video, that he was gonna get all his friends at the beginning. Um, it's missing, he's missing top tier boy. Yeah, he's getting, he's getting him later. But, yeah, I think he might be a bit annoyed that um, the other team's up bit and he had to spend 10.5. Like, I think he probably could, thought he could have gotten him for like 7k. How, how much, how much did BTB spend for Empo? Um, I think 14, I don't remember, was it 16? Okay. Don't remember yeah, at cool. all. It was something like around 14, 16 range. And I think M Dragon was a bit more expensive, but it wasn't like super expensive. Oh, oh Bl Blunder got Brophy CTC and Race Car for Yeah, CTC low. for 3k. And oh, Race Car for 12k, I think. But Race Car didn't care about the tour last year, so it kind of makes sense. Mm hmm. But yeah, it's now um, CB Jose Altuve Corvette's turn to nominate. Um, so at the moment they have FLCL on their team. Sam and uh, Meeps managing. They have FLCL and partial. So they only have like half their money left. So let's see who they nom. They like they can't like really up that much. They can like maybe try to go for 8k, but they can't really bit much more. I think. Because you need to get at least 10 players. Okay, so here we got um, Donut. Um, okay, so that signs up for DPP. I don't know him, but he's probably an old gen goat as well. So I would assume that he's gonna go for like around 10k, maybe a bit less. Uh, so he was nomed by Meep's team and who was upbidding X-Ray upbid once, then Eternal's team upbid, then X-Ray again, then Meep's. Uh, so X-Ray again. Well, basically DVP slot. Um, I don't think that many people picked the DVP slot yet. So I guess it can be really valuable if you can get like a cheap, good DVP player. Like I would say around 10k for sure. Maybe 12k. I wouldn't think he would go for more though. Um, I don't think BTB and X-Ray have a DPP slot, so we can see they want him. And same with Meep's team, obviously they nomed him. Yeah, we're gonna get to that X range that I said, like 10 to 12k, but I thought he would probably end. The Falcons. DPP slot. Oh no! Oh, yeah, Eternal's team going, going in there. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. Uh, he's, he I don't know who that is. Co-manager. <laughs> And yeah, BTB and X-Ray want him, they both say 10.5 at the same time. Not in call, that's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. 
Okay, so and let's go. yeah, maybe he will go for a little bit more, but this is the range. I thought it would. Oh, end. then K Kato beat Eternal Spirit around one of S tours. I didn't know that. Goaded. But yeah, Kato should definitely okay, also get picked for this tournament here if he signed. I think he signed up, yeah. Actually goes even over, so this is gonna be a lot of money spent on donuts, but... Yeah, I'm looking at predicting that 10 to 12k and... Ah, they ended 11.5. Okay, so now... I think that's a fair price, though. That's not too much. I'm dragging Ample Donut looking pretty solid so far. Um, I'm dragging or Ample, they can, like, play Gen 6 and 7. But and them can also play nice. older gens, I think. I don't know, though. And Ample can you can also spend play. some extra money on Donut, right? Because they have some uh, have some friends in the back that will not go for too much. Yeah. So. Okay, so Corey's team back at it again. Um, Raspberry. Raspberry. No <laughs> idea who's, what tier he plays or who that is. Never heard that name. Yeah. yeah one of Corey's friends is just going to pick him up if for 3k. it's one of his friends, then he can get him for yeah. cheap. Ah, nice and 3k. Steel as Probably fuck. nobody probably knows if who he's good at the so. steel. I don't know if he's good. They will uh, have to see that later. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> yeah, like um, I can tell from the someone... tournament that I was hosting in my Discord that like some people that are really good, like that are unknown and sign up, and then I go for 3k and then they do really well. That can definitely happen. If no mm -hmm. one else knows them, no one is gonna up it. Like, um, I got like, like yeah, Felix I'm, and he went I'm not, well. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. The, oh, this is Omari P. Oh, Omari P. Oof. Okay, so Blunder nommed on Mario P, and he's gonna go for yeah, like the, 10k, I think. Yeah, yeah. The backstory is that basically in his sign up post, oh, okay. Mario P only, only wanted to get drafted by Blunder. Yeah, he went for 3k and drafted by Blunder. And, it, and 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 they got it. I thought he would, might go for a 10, but he just went for 3k, nice and stolen. He oh got, yeah, to he be got CT, CT, oh, Mario P is Omari garbage. P. What? Say K. Yeah, well, but I guess kind of as a meme pick, I thought he would go get up bit. Oh, Marty, no, um, like a P is a good player, but his teams are just ass. I mean, if someone, if like someone passes him teams, he could be, he could be a good three K player, but his teams are ass. So. Yeah. yeah but okay. So BB Ultra Balls, Ultra Ultra Balls, Ultra Balls the goat. Nice, 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 um. So I think Zomok is gonna 3K? up it a bit. Um. No, okay. Yeah. Zomok and CB and. Nice. Nukes. Um. I think he will go for like um 10k for sure. 12k. Blender opening. Yeah. Everyone's opening. 10 to 12k. Um, that's Ooh, crazy that I, that's crazy that I thought that um they would upbeat on Murray, but he just went for 3k. <laughs> I don't know why I thought this was just like yeah, BTB really, like really wants BB. Yeah. Um, is other like BB is good. Um, but I don't think they're gonna go much higher than 11. Yeah, B BTB should should try to beat like last second, like to snipe everyone else. So BTB might get him for 9k. Okay. That's a good Please. price. Yes. That's good. Yes! That's oh that's fair. So he's on the BTBs, which is something I like since they're both friends of mine, so the um the Falcons. Nice Talonflame logo. I don't know if the logo's finished from the team if the logo finished. Ah nice you nice BTB saying good. I mean I think you be yeah, I think nine K for UB is a fair price since he's amazing in my opinion, but Yeah, like um he hasn't uh Proven himself in big tours, but he has been doing amazing in OST okay, and he did well in one smog tour. So yeah, no he has idea, the potential. I have no idea, no idea who this MNSM is. Mansmith. Mansmith. No, he's in he's in round seven of OST. Don't yeah, it's like Mansmith or Mansmith on Smogon, and yeah, I don't know who that is either. And he just went for three K. Someone said for Jambet, but it's not Jambet. It's just someone like with a name, kind of like Jambet. Okay, I'm not I'm not saying these names that we don't know are meme picks, but like I was. I was told that there was gonna be some meme picks. Yeah, I don't know who you is. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. No disrespect, but like. Wait, which team did he go on? Oh, the sprout. Wait, the who? sprout pause, which is. Yeah. God, stop moving so fast! I'm trying to look at the team. I so TDK non three three kings. Plays a lot of tiers. Yeah, I, um, I well, get certain teams are going for new talent, and other other teams don't wanna like. What yeah, Corey's team has been like getting players kind of cheap. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think that um, this guy is a go at DPP, right? So I was gonna say he could have yes. gotten for like 15k for sure. And yeah, that's where we are at the moment. Um, I would stop bidding at like 17 or 18 though. Maybe. Yeah, I think I think 18 is a fine price for him. Then 17, 17.5. What is this redacted shit? I always get thrown off when it pops up. The Castellia server is redacted. Like, what? <laughs> okay, so it's going higher, I guess. Probably 20. Okay. 19.5. But yeah, um, I don't think he's that great at Gen 7 OU, but 
The easy fire at the other gens. Uh, definitely DPP. I don't know what other other gen he's fire at. I I might be I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he can also play Gen 3. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have had BKC go for left. We had, we had BKC go for like 21, if I recall correctly. What? So that's why I'm so okay. surprised that this guy is going for more. Yeah, exactly. That's what Finchinator is saying. That's too. why like, that's why I was surprised when Black Oblivion and some people like went for so much. Like, Okay, why is Wither Kings being upbeat on like his like, ABR? Because he's pretty val valuable and, and these old gems. So, and the teams that don't have an old gen slot, they really want him. I could see that. And Cory's and team has money. Cory's team has money left, so I can. That's what. I like, they want speaking him. Of, hmm? Speaking of Witcher Kings, like, a little a little off topic, he's actually playing Blunder round 3 of S2 right now. Okay, how is it looking? Uh, let me check. Okay, I Corey, don't know if they started yet, but, like, that's the match. Cory got him for 25k. Um, they have 5 players, and they have, like, around half their money left. Brofist, Trace, Scarface, Roscoe. Never mind, I mixed up the team. I mixed up the team. My bad, my bad. Um, Corey Value, they have Chill Shadow, Rory, Lycans, Sakri, Bushtush, Raspberry, We Three Kings. So they need three players and they have 18k left. That's definitely doable. That looks like a cool team. Mm -hmm. I just don't know the one or two quote unquote randoms that they picked. Um, TDK and Pearl. Finch, I, const I greatly appreciate your constant commentary on the draft. <laughs> nice meet. <laughs> They're like, oh. I don't know. Okay, so HSA, Eclip who's that? Uh, I don't, I have no idea. Colin and Eclipse are still in s by the way. Yeah, that's why I haven't joined the recording, because I gave them both access yeah, to the recording. Colin, Colin is playing Pogies. Is it round three? Yes, and Eclipse is playing some Unknown name that beat Ying Soul round one. Well, Eclipse pretty fire. Um, he didn't sign mm -hmm. up for this tournament though, so unfortunately we will not see him get picked up. Um, I think if he if he signed up and BTB could have gotten him for like five k, that would have been so fire. Yeah. I don't know if he wanted to get him, but he could have he could have gone for like no money and would have been a goat pick because he's fire. No, I'm, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure BTB would have drafted him. So yeah. He might even go for 3k because I don't think people really know who Eclipse is, although he's super fire. Yeah, yeah, and, the, and, the, and, the, yeah and that's why. I would go would so far that I, I want to say he would have um, beaten uh, Solvent um, in, in, OST, in OST, but he got activity. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, he had something come out in real life and he couldn't play, and he got activity by Solvent in round 5 or 6. I think in round 6. 6, 6, yeah. That, that was really annoying. Um, Eclipse's builds, and Eclipse's builds with fire, and he plays fire. Okay, so who went surprise, for 10.5k? HSA, yeah, no, no idea what that is, I just can't comment on that. Okay, so Zomox CL are gonna norm someone. See that the hasty E trans, they already have 7 players, but not that much money. I don't know if Yeah, I mean, 18k is still fine. You can get like someone for 10k and then 2 players for 4k, something like that. Mm. Who crit league? What are you talking about? But yeah, let's just uh, looking at, keep looking at the teams for a bit. Um, one team only has two players, but they have a lot of money left. Oh yeah, I got this men's mid guy for three k. Um, like I don't wanna. This is just a bad joke that I'm gonna make, right? You can also get player for three k and have them be a ghosting slot. Um, this is just a bad joke. I hope no one does that. <laughs> No, it's actually, the, the sad part is that it's actually not a joke, like, people do that. Sometimes it happens, yeah. Um, I don't know when it happened the last time, though. I think it might have happened in SPL. Uh, so Sprout Horse has bought the, the Kyle. Who's the Kyle? Kyle? Okay, so that's someone we don't know. For 3k. There are a lot of people we don't know. That's interesting. What's that? Which team? Sprout Tower Sprouts is... Uh, Sia and Zomox team. Okay. Okay, so the Castellia. This is the is Eternal Spirit team that is gonna pick now. They still have a lot that's of money like, left. That's like double the money of everything else. Okay, so apparently Eclipse's S2's opponent, we, who has a weird name, is GGGD, like the guy that I don't know. Okay, so I was gonna, I want, I want to show yeah. you guys who is left in the poll. 245 players. Um, just so I can get an idea who the people might be um, drafting. Oh, Eco signed up from our Discord. Easy signed up for this. Easy will probably get picked. Padlop signed up. I don't know if he will get picked. 
He wasn't this last year. Swapa, aka Eric, signed up. Um, um, like a ladder hero from like I I know he used to be good. Trickster, so Volpix, like, Vatron signed up from our Discord. Yeah, JC. Va Valentine's reputation kind of sunk when like because he was apparently he he like I don't know. Wait, are you meeting on someone? I didn't pay attention. Oh, yeah. Many people complain about him. Being They're on a Valentine. Okay, so I played Valentine on ladder the other day. He had a C team. Um, <laughs> and he tried to throw the game, that's all I'm saying. So you got him oh, for 4k, many brothers got him yeah, He doesn't have a good yeah. reputation at all. So yeah, yeah, I think there was like some cheating drama in SPL and last year. Yeah, he, he, not only does he not have a good reputation, but he's also been out of the scene for a while because he was banned. Too banned. But yeah, that's, that's still a steal, even though like mm -hmm. he's kind of... Oh, yeah, just yeah, needs yeah, time yeah. to get back, I think he used... I think he goes okay, okay, to okay, impact. Okay. Oh, BTB, Kushalos. Oh, Kushalos, I know he's the NU GOAT, right? But yeah, yeah um, they, they won't like... Yeah, okay. No I know that, um... Valentine, I think, goes to Chimpact in OLT, like, a few years ago. And when Chimpact made finals oh. in Aras. But I'm not 100% sure on that. But yeah, now, uh... I don't know exactly what Kushalos can play from. It doesn't say any tiers. Like the people that are friends with him or that or that tried him out, they will know. I don't know. <laughs> but I assume that he shouldn't go for more than 9k. So what is getting better? Oh, Kushalos. Okay, so yeah, and I don't think he should go he for plays. much more. I don't know what OU he plays. Yeah, no idea. It doesn't say any tears. Um, so yeah, the Eternal Silver team is like probably gonna get him because they have the most money left. Yep. Yeah, so Kushalos is interesting. So they have Lavos, Mintsmith, and Kushalos. So that's interesting. Eclipse, Eclipse yeah. is actually playing a boring stall. That's a weird team to say the least. So Eclipse is playing with a stall. Um, I assume that this opponent is gonna get crushed then. Yeah, I cannot show you guys. Know, he, the at the moment, at the moment he's lo he just lost Eclipse just lost Heat into a Quagsire. Oh fuck! Okay, never mind then. Well, I thought I he had a stall C team because usually he has those ready. I don't know, I but so. he's fa he's fighting like a weird Buzzwool stall. Oh, it's the it's a Zomok Buzzwool stall. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if it's a Zomok one or if it's a, like a different variant. Okay, I don't so know Faji, is, no. um, nommed from Jirachi Blunder team. Yeah, cannot say anything about him again. <laughs> steal of I'm the just gonna draft. try to outbid. Wait, does that says steal of the draft for which player? And they're gonna say, and they're gonna say, okay, okay, never mind, never mind. Okay, so Sam successfully upbid like um, 1k. He just, they just stole 1k off Jirachi. My computer's about to die, so let me plug that charger in. Okay. I don't know. So Faji for 4k. Roland is probably gonna say in chat, oh, such a steal, oh, such a good. Uh, so okay, so Kari's team. Let's see if there's any French players here. <laughs> see if we can get a French dude. No, I'm just yeah, trying exactly. to see. Oh, Dennis the Menace. I hope he gets normed because I know he doesn't want to yeah, play. Yeah, he's gonna cry. It's, it's he just signed up for the likes. Oh, let me see. Oh, Googly signed up yeah. for this. Insult. Yeah, yeah, Eclipse, food. Eclipse, Eclipse got impatient. Yeah, I know it. So he's probably gonna lose. Um. Sukuro is a French player, so he, they might norm Sukuro. Um, I could definitely see that, because uh, Zakur can play all the gens like ADV as well. So they're not, uh, they're not Eternum, who's a, he's pretty fire. He's still an OST, I talked about it earlier. Yep, Zakur is also a, ca a capable stall user. Eternum, <laughs> is Eternum is not that well known, so I was gonna say, oh, oh BTV tried to up it, but he was too late. What? So he no. went for 3k. I was gonna say he's gonna go for a relatively cheap for like 7k, because oh. not that many people might know him. That's actually well, but yes, that's, that's a hyper steal, so I don't know if they're gonna redo yeah. the bit, or if BTV is just... It just Probably not. I actually, I actually, I actually feel bad for BTB because like he would have gotten Eternum. Like that's a good pick for free K. Damn. So they fucked BTB yeah, that um, with his in the internet side. typing far too late and he didn't get him. So now an analytic um, can play a lot of gens and he's pretty fire. Um, can play aggressive. And, and fire, he can pull an, the trigger awesome on the correct. Too, he can pull the trigger on the correct mm -hmm. turn with aggressive player. So I've been in some discords with Analytic, he's a fire. Ooh, that's super cheap. It's a hyper steal, so BTB is getting a steal now, which is nice. 
Okay, so now I might we might see Top Boy or someone of his friends. DJ. DJ uh, is just Eric. Um, not, not Eric. My bad. My bad. DJ is Darius. Um, so Darius. Let yes. me just make some like telephone story. So yesterday Dennis played someone. Oh, he went for 3K. That's a steal <laughs> as fuck. That guy's good. So someone D Dennis played someone yesterday, and I thought it was Darius DJ, but it was like another DJ. And I told him, oh yeah, this guy's good. You gotta be careful. And then his opponent brought the RS team to Gen 7 and was complete. Was a horseshit player, and yeah, then it just molested him. Mm. Uh, yeah, top boy. Oh yeah, now top, top, top boy. They're getting all their friends, and they're gonna get them all for three k, I think. Um, oh no, Blunder someone up it, blunder up it. Oh yeah. Oh, blunder, blunder up it, just because he made a video I think for he's him. Quite top tier boy. Oh, he yeah. likes him. Yeah, he's. Yeah. Well, I guess he's going. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't. Wait, I did not expect play. more than five k. 7k. So I don't know. I don't know if Blunder. I guess Blunder's trolling Maddie Brolix, so he has to pay more. Just yeah, kidding. I think probably he's probably just upbeating. I think Blunder just stole a, four, a 4k off Maddie. That's fire. That Blunder is driving. But yeah, Maddie has. Um, Maddie's team is almost complete, and like he got. Like DJ for 3k was such. Like DJ for 3k was such a steal that yeah. that was fine that he got the top tier for seven. Seven boy might be. I I don't want to say it's too much, but it's not. It's not like. Yeah. I mean that's fine. His team is almost finished. Only it's, it's not a, a low amount either. But like, if he plays like, I know he's he's no, he knows how to play. <laughs> nice Dennis analysis. Think top tier boy makes music now, so <laughs> I hope he still plays his game. Yeah, I don't think he cares about months, but he just signed uh, up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. He just Maybe signed he up because it's cool to um yeah. play with friends and a team to it. It's like probably mm -hmm. the main motivation. Valentine personally talent scouted everyone on our team. Oof. You already know they're gonna be ghosting slots. JK. <laughs> Don't attack me in the comments if you're watching this or, or whoever's yeah. How is Ari Stella still in S2? That's good. Corvette's here truly. Dude, I got Ari Stella. No oh, never mind, I mixed up Ari Stella with someone else. I got someone on ladder and yeah, six of them was I I don't know, did po mm. I think calling wait, did he lose? I, I missed his game. Okay, so we have a, a load in here, the goat. So I'm gonna expect yeah. like 13k. Oh, yeah. maybe, maybe. The loading won yesterday's S2. And so the reason why I say this is because some teams don't have much money left. Otherwise, I would expect him to go even for more than 13k. I would have expected him to go for like 20. But since uh, the teams are kind of kind of broke, um, I think you can go for like 13, 14 ish. Ah, nice. Dennis, best friend. Harris is awesome. Just left uh, the chat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, basically, were, um, gonna, Dennis is going to get salty, but I'm going to talk about this real quick. So, I, Dennis, no, wait. I thought he was going to say he got upbeat and I was getting like an heart attack. Like I was getting super mad. No, no, no. no. So Dennis, <laughs> um, oh, he is going for more than 13. Okay, I thought the team didn't have money for that. But Dennis played Harris and OST and... Oh, Dennis man. was about to win 2-0 and, oh and then timed out and then he was tilted and lost game 3 and that was unfortunate and yeah That's all I'm saying about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> Okay, so maybe he's going to 20. He's definitely worse. He's definitely worse 20, I think but um, I really don't think the teams have money then to build but more than this. That's incorrect English But you get them for 17 the sprout power sprouts, which is CL Zomok team. They have seven players now. Because he's psychic no, six players. Because he's psychic Mewtwo here, Yopi, the Kyle, Elodin. So they only have 26k left for four players. I guess they will have to get some steel picks. Value from the hasty Hedron has not easy. Okay, so easy, um I know he kinda Um I guess he kinda crit Mons in the sense that he plays other games more now, but he still plays Mons at the side. That's what I have heard at least. I'm not hundred percent sure. But yeah, I know he plays Brawlhalla sometimes with insult and he plays Yeah, League? exactly. Yeah. Speaking, of Brawlhalla. Speaking, of, yeah, speaking of Easy and Brawlhalla, he's the biggest camper I've ever seen. Oh, <laughs> the crashing from bullies got him for 4k, so Blunder's team got him. And Blunder is going wild, so I think he just tried to up it and then he just got molested. Um, I think that's um, still a steal though, like, even yeah, though yeah. he's kind of out of judging months by, maybe. Judging by, and fuck, by bro, Blunder's we got played as fuck! <laughs> Oh, Luigi! Even, Luigi, Luigi, I, I even West that. knows this dude is garbage! <laughs> what? What did you say? Oh, and here we got another one, another one of Dennis's friends. Oh, Luigi. Dennis' friend, yeah, uh, Luigi, Luigi is a TD that Dennis doesn't, Dennis doesn't like him, so, and he's getting bit on. So Dennis is gonna run now. Um, but yeah, Luigi oh, but did, 
Damn. How are you gonna react like that? Like, Easy probably read that, what Blunder said. Damn. Blunder was literally shit talking a load for like 10 seconds. I mean, Blunder's like, probably Blunder... like half trolling, and like Blunder's known to shit talk, and I think sometimes yeah, Blunder... it's just fun. Blunder, was... Blunder and CTC are the biggest shit talkers on this site. Like, these kids always shit talk. Yeah, like, you don't have. It's, it's not... kind of funny, I guess. Like, so... sometimes it's serious, sometimes it's not, and yeah. Most of the time it's not serious. Not, you know. Um, I forgot what they're bidding on. G. Now I have to scroll up. Oh, we see. Luigi right at 8. Okay, we just talked about Dennis' That's friend. A friend. But yeah, um, he didn't put any specific tiers he plays. I think we can play most of the tiers from ADV to um, Sun and Moon. We can probably play 70% uh, of those. So I would assume he's gonna go for 15k. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Who's getting old? Oh, Luigi. Ugh. Yeah, Dennis' friend is still getting bit on. Okay, so 12.5 12 and, and the Eternal Spirit team got him. The Eternal Spirit team looks okay, kind of weird, like fine. honestly. Okay, I'm only interested, really. I, actually, not only, but like, I'm more interested in BTBs. No, just like look things. at it, Eternal Spirit's team and then tell me, like, what is this? Lavos, Mensmith, Mensmith, Kushalos, Luigi. Like. And it's not damn bad Mansmith, it's like Mansmith for 3k, like I don't know who he is. But he's an yeah. OST still, so he might be a good steal. Mm -hmm. Kushalos and Luigi, like I just don't know how good Mansmith Kushalos are. So the Excellent. team looks What? Oh, Barra's not excellent, so excellent was on his SPL oh, oh, team. Oh. Okay, so I don't, wanna, I don't wanna start anything, but I, I'm pretty sure Exiline is like more of an X-ray pick than BTB, because from what I remember, BTB doesn't actually think high about Exiline. Yeah, I think so, but I'm not gonna get into that. Um, yeah. <laughs> not trying to get attacked here. Exactly. But yeah, I think this guy could go for like 9k. 9k ish? He, he, likes, shouldn't, he shouldn't go for more than 9k, in my opinion. Um, like, he kinda got. I don't wanna say throttle in SPL, but he did, so yeah. <laughs> say he got throttle, but definitely did. Well, I don't remember all his games, but I just remember that he got kicked by Kanto, and who else did he play? Finch said he's the only person who beat me in Auras. Oh yeah, he he won an S2 last week. Um, yeah. I think he did. Was it last week? It was a few weeks ago, whenever Auras happened. I think it was two weeks ago, Auras S2. But yeah, I don't think he should go for, my, for more than 9 or 10k. Um, but he definitely has potential, right? But... I've heard that he's, um, I think he can be, um, I think he might not be the easiest teammate, like he might not, yeah, I don't know how to say it in English. No, actually, a, a, a very good, a very good Auras player. But yeah, but still does not go for more than 10k, I don't think so. I guess he has his... Like, the, like, if you compare it with BKC for 22 and stuff. Right? Mm-hmm. But yeah, X-Ray wants him more, I guess, than BTB, so he bids 10k, yeah, that, and I think that fine. should be it, I don't think he should go higher. Anyone should, like, no one should go higher, because the other teams are broke, exactly. So, um, BTB's team right Thank now... BTB's looking like he has to just pick up some steals. And Dragon Emperor, Donut, Ultra Bolt, Analytic... BTB is... BTB Excellent, so if he didn't mess up the Eternal pick, then he could've gotten him for like 5 or 6k, that would've been fire. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe for 8k. We are all well, good to just keep doing with no side. breaks. Let me pause real quick, change the music again. Chad is also not that pleased about the exit line pick. Okay, so we have now Vorgadal. Okay, so this guy played in World Cup for Oceania, if I'm not mistaken. And he, I thought him like saying smoke to his Discord because I didn't upload his ger game for versus Team Germany where he won. Then someone made like a joke. Oh yeah, Dokuch was in the call, he didn't upload the Germany game, yeah, that's why he didn't upload it, because he was in the ghosting call. Yeah, I definitely was not in the ghosting call, I didn't know if a ghosting call existed for Team Germany. I don't know that many players mm -hmm. from Team Germany, just because I'm uh, German doesn't since, mean since I'm a Since it's Germans, you can, you, can already, you can already expect that there's a ghosting call since it's Team Germany, but... Yeah, it's just a joke that I'm, I had to make, like, I had to talk about this real quick. But yeah, Vorgedal, um, yeah, I think that's a steal for 4k. Um, not that... Super well known player, Bet but okay, has potential, and he could have gone for seven or eight k, in my opinion. Bet, 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 Bet is like a, a, he's a veteran. Like he played, he played. Oh, in Bet for, is a G Germany Gen two fire years. player. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure this year he's gonna play for Team Oster with Zamiao doing for. But yeah, Bet Bear, Um, I guess he's maybe gonna play Gen three because the G Gen two is not in this. I don't know what else he would play because I don't think he's good at Gen seven. 
don't think he's good at Gen 7 at all. I wanna say 4K is a steal, even though I don't know better. It's no GSC, so I do I mean, I know that, um, I know that, uh, Vorgadot for 4K is a steal, I don't know about... Mm -hmm. Wait, Little Okari was banned from OUPL public chat by Leo, what did he say? What? Can you, can you click on the 82 lines hidden? Cause I don't wanna click on it right now. Wait, wait, wait. Where is there? There's a there's a thing there. Really we can't spread misinformation to the best. Better rip. Well, he wasn't really doing anything. TK Norman so Lighthouses. Okay, so Lighthouses Unbanded. played. Are you in SPL? Played or can play Auras. Played Auras in World Cup before, I think, and played Auras in OUPL last year. I think you can also play Phantom in OU. So yeah, Lighthouses is a fire player. Um, I would expect oh, him to well, go for got, 13k ish. He got banned from the discussion channel, which I I don't know where where that is. He got unbanned. It says okay, okay. 82 lines were hidden. And so he didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. Oh, oh he basically said, Sudirt is a really good pickup. Wait, shit, cannot spread misinformation. <laughs> so he, he just made a joke, like a harmless joke, and he got banned. Okay, okay. But, um, he got unbanned by Finch just a few seconds. Okay, so uh, Lighthouses. Um, did I not do. Um, in the tour that I was hosting my Discord, Lighthouses was underperforming, but. I guess he was okay. trying out tiers that he usually doesn't try and he w didn't do that well, but I know he's a good player and 10k is definitely a fine price for him. He should have, could have even gone for 13, like I said earlier. Okay, so, um, Omari PCTC 6k, <laughs> nice and easy win. <laughs> yeah, Porsche for 30k was crazy. Okay, I don't know who the oh, fuck this is, for, oh. but there's not that many AV slots, so that should be good. Like, if he's good at AV, then, um... Uh, I'm pretty sure, Call 49 is one of the poke games best friend on the side. I think he, he's the one that always gives him like RU teams and such. Oh, is he good at AV? I don't know. I, I'm I'm assuming he is since he signed up for that. <coughs> I, didn't okay. know, I didn't know he played ADV. <laughs> I I know he plays DPP, but... Well, since the people are updating, I assume the people that know ADV know that he's good at ADV. <laughs> Never heard of this kid, so I... <laughs> <laughs> Well, I would joke. still think it should not go higher than like 11k. Just like, um, my guess. But yeah, you can see that which team wants and TDK's team and FLCL's team are pretty much upbidding each other. And yeah, we're gonna check how much money they have left after this pick. I think they're both kind of broke, right? <coughs> Can you check for me how much TDK's team has left? Mm, okay, um, let me see. TDK, 40k. Where? Yeah, 40k. And how many players? So far, six? They have one, two, three, four. They have four. Four? Hello? Okay, so they got him for 9.5, the CB Jose Altuves. There's a price list so far, and we're gonna click on that. Um, Probably at the end, but yeah, we can see I'm dragging for 20k, Embo for 14, Donut, excellent. So this is Ultra Bowl's team. Oh, Vailusa is a very good Auras player. Um, uh, Vailusa is kind of uh, Vailusa's fire at Gen 6 at Gen 7. Um, mm -hmm. I guess we're gonna look at the older picks afterwards. But yeah, Vailusa, I think he made it finals of S2 uh, a few weeks ago in Sun and Moon, or even won one. Oh, I'm not mixing up with Mona Lusa. Uh, Vailusa definitely made finals. Um, Someone else, but... And I think that... Should go for like 12k, 11k ish. Ridiculous. Um, I think he played I, I don't know. World Cup last year, but only one or two games. I don't remember. Pretty sure I upload one of his games. 12 or 11, but I think he should go for high. Uh, 5k. Okay, that's 5k. Fine. That's a steal. Um, Dennis, Dennis, it says join the discussion. That's the channel that I was talking about earlier. Oh, okay, okay. Exactly. So basically, I clicked on that. I opened two browsers. And then I put them like to each, next to each other so we, the viewers can see everything. Free fire. Um, okay, so Eternal Spirits team, which is like a team that I'd never expected, like the way it looks so far. It's their turn, not a norm. Like they have. <laughs> they look really weird still. Like the, what is the fifth player of the Luigi? Uh, Vorgadal, okay, so they got some Vorgadal. steals in there for 4k Vorgadal. Looks really weird to be honest. Why does it have to flash and scroll? <laughs> it's obnoxious, so are you. <laughs> but yeah, let's look at the teams. Um Medibro, like OB team, the team with friends, and they only have They have 18k left for two players, that's fine.
Dude, stop doing this auction info thing. It's so annoying. <laughs> Let me pause real quick. Okay, so this. Oh, how do I? Can you can you link me? Um, yeah. So, see how Dennis have to link. I'm recording my screen. So the Castellia yes, Sierras, I, um, they got Corazon for 3k. I have no idea who this guy is. Um, Mortal Falcons are choosing Okay, so right BTB's now. team is now gonna nom. FMG, okay, so. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, one FMG? of my friends, he's amazing at BW. Yeah, he's definitely um, good at Yeah, he also wide. plays SMW and RSW. And apparently, DPP, I've never seen him play DPP, but he's amazing at BW. So 3k is a huge deal, so. Oh, yeah, yeah 4K, 4K at the that's... moment. I think he should oh go God. for like 7 or 8 at least. He also called for uh, Estos play of last year almost, but then they disqualified him because one of his opponents either choked or um, forfeited one mean? of the two things, and then he got disqualified for. What do you mean choked? If that choked, it's their fault, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the opponent like forfeited or or like something, and then the game didn't count and he lost the point and he didn't make playoffs. Something like that. I'm not really sure how it worked. I would have to look well, it up on some. Isn't it their problem though? You I can't. You can't. No, if they're forfeited, it's not their problem. That's like. I mean, I have to look up the thread. There's there's literally a thread that explains why. No, 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 like if you're playing someone and they forfeit, that's that's their fault. Like. Ah, you see what Blunder said. <laughs> I mean, FMG is not even that clock active clock. in Den of Thieves, which is our Discord. Yeah, yeah BGB with the yeah. Okay. So, I how much? FMG for 8k. I think Den that. Of Thieves, Den of Thieves produces hot commodities. Damn, 8k is a fine price, yeah. It's like. He knows. He potentially knows. even a steal, but. No, nah, I would say it's a fine price. Okay, so Hoodie, um, it's like the NU tier leader, I think, but NU is not in this. So I don't really know what he can play from Gen 3 to Gen 7 only. I am, I am, like, looking at some names that have been been picked up, I'm surprised Colin still hasn't been beat on. Yeah, I mean, Colin knows that he's probably gonna get picked for, like, relatively cheap, like, 3 to 6k, <laughs> something like that. On BTB's team? Um, either BTB BTB's or Vomox team, or so even, far, maybe, so far, maybe even Meeps. So far, so far, BTB managed to get UB for 9k, but he failed to get Eternum because he got sniped. Yeah, he just didn't oh, type. Him. He didn't Eternum type. Eternum's uh, Eternum fired. Yeah, and he went for three K because yeah, BDB rather, fucked up and didn't type it fast enough. Yeah, or rather, he did not get sniped. Rather, he he submit the bid like too late. Okay, so Hoodie like, went for four point five, which makes sense to me because I don't know what he plays out of those tiers because I yeah. didn't know he plays any. Um, Red Max um is a French player, so it makes sense that Value and Curry want to nom him because they can get him relatively cheap for like probably five or six K. Um, like a year ago, BTB up. Guest uploaded on my channel uh, a Red Max 2 game where he played really well versus Sabella. So this guy definitely has potential. And yeah, they get him for 4k, so nice steal there. Um, well, this guy still has to prove himself. Like, I don't think he's that consistent, but he can be a steal. So that, that's definitely a fine price, 4k. Jirachi's mm -mm. saying that man is good. Okay, he knows. That was about the way. Okay, so um, the Meeps team is gonna nom now. Who do they have? So Red Max is like a French guy. Yeah. Yeah, that's what <laughs> they have like 25k left with four players, so they need to have like oh. three. K. Oh, never mind. No, no, then member is in S2 anymore. They have 25k left and they only have four players. What? So they need to get like super steals only. Okay, so they have they, to like nom that someone that no one wants, or they have to hope the opponents like don't look at this. Green and they let them get someone good for 3k. Because <laughs> if they like um, nom like someone shit. good and they get up it, then they just can't up it this themselves. Like they just can't get the person. Then. Okay, so he noms Jake Jacob. Um, so this guy plays black and white. I don't know what else he plays, but yeah, he's pretty. I think he should be. I mean, he didn't do that well in our then tour, but I guess he just didn't care about the tour because it's an un tour. Mm. Uh, I mean yeah, I don't know. I would assume he would go for 8k-ish. Maybe 10. <laughs> Why did JC say Nolan? <laughs> did Colin just join the chat or something? Okay, no, they're going for 4k. Okay. Okay. No, he's probably he's probably surprised like I am too that Colin still hasn't been beat on. Colin Avon, that is. Yeah, Colin yeah, is Avon, Avon yes. and this, for some reason, some people call him Nolan. I guess me too sometimes. For action? Uh, no, you, you I, act. I, I'm pretty sure so you Oh, I got, oh, got bought for 3k by the uh, Maddie Brolic team. By the Maddie Brolic team. Oh, damn. Okay, so congrats, I guess, to LL from uh, our Discord. As well. Congratulations, LL. Damn. 
Okay, so Milik, like, Milik, uh, now this guy plays in OU Room Premier League, but he's I think doubles is his main tier, so he's probably gonna go relatively cheap. Um, I assume for like seven k. Well, maybe maybe a bit more. Like I just haven't been following OU Room Premier League, so maybe he did well in there so far. But it's like kind of an untour, so this is also like kind of an untour. If he does well in the other two, maybe he can get picked up here. A lot got snatched with three k. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because Elo is actually not that bad at DPP and also not that bad at Ultra Sun Mabu, so that's kind of fun. Yeah, I mean, 3k can be a steal if he performs, but we'll have to see that. Oh, the hasty e trans have 11k, but they only need one player okay, and Milk the BBC Kings Milk. are done. Yeah, BBC Kings have um, 10 players, but they still have 9k, so they can still get extra steals. Um, because um, if you have more players, then you have more people to bench, so it's obviously nothing wrong Dude, with Dude, Zamox team has. BKC and high. That yeah, they got BKC for twenty one k. That was a juicy ass. Wait, look, look at look at look at Blunder. Blunder has Brophy's, Race Carface and CTC. CTC and Omari P. Yeah, they, this man. This man. What, like what do you mean? What do you mean Omari P? Blunder has. He got Omari P. Blunder, Blunder got Omari P. But Omari P. Blunder Flowell is Omari. Oh. P. Oh, how you oh wait, you really got Omari P? That's yeah, because yeah, Omar. If you, in case you don't know, basically Omari P in his sign up post said. I don't want to be picked by any anyone else. Then Blunder. If Blunder doesn't pick me, I don't want to get bought. So. Ha! <laughs> Blunder says yeah. you noobs. When has a prim PL ever had mid that wasn't SPL? HPL had so one. PUCL had one. Okay, I, I don't follow PUCL or HPL, so I don't know. Yeah, me um, Hispanic Premier League and what is the other one? Pokemon PO, Online. Pokemon Online. Yeah, PO World Cup. Yes. No, it's CL. He said, which is like I guess Champions League. Oh, PUCL. League? Oh. I, I don't know about that. I know what I mean. I've never means. heard about that. OUPL used to have one. Okay, I didn't know about that. I only watched OUPL last year and I never followed. Who is in Okay, Hangover for 3k. Uh, another one player I've never heard of. Yeah. But yeah, the CB Jose. Yeah. How to record it? It's got him for cheap. Uh, how, many man how many players do they have? They have Where five. is calling? No? They have five players for 22k. Oh, so yeah, yeah, they pretty much had to do this, what they did. Nom someone, no one is gonna up it and get him for 3k. I wanna say when Colin eventually gets beat on, he's gonna go for the same or rather or slightly higher than UB. If I were oh, to guess. Oh, Colin said himself that. Because um, I think. Actually, Colin said I himself mean, that he's I, probably I gonna go for five k. Mm, uh, I I don't think so. I know for a fact Colin is more known than UB in the tournament scene. Known, well, I guess UB. Um, like I don't wanna like say, yeah. Like I don't wanna make this sound wrong, but UB kind of got known um, through. The guest uploads on my channel, but also performing well. Yeah, but didn't he do well in our? Yeah, I'm I just wanted to finish. Yeah, yeah. also performing well oh, yeah, in he, he, OST, doing, well in OST. doing well in a smoke yeah. tool. I already mentioned that like earlier five times. Like this video is like 82 no, minutes. And, uh, no, no, no. I was talking about Grand Slam. And Grand Slam and NU like oh. somewhat, yeah. And lower tier. No, he, he did well. Still Kitty. Hello. Okay, so Corey's team. Um, did Corey's team already have uh, ten players? The only the. But uh, Corey's team, team has 11k like, to yeah. spend on their last player. Wait, why, why are they spending so much on this guy? Who is this skills kitty? Yeah, I have no idea who this is. I can't say anything. What tier does he play? I have no idea. Oh, he plays Black White and DPP, so that makes sense then, because there, there haven't been that many BP and Black White players, I think. So that makes some sense then. Oh, sorry, joined the chat. But sorry, couldn't sign up for his tour because he's forum banned, I think. Exactly, yeah. Nice. Um, sorry, he's still in OST um, round 7, I think, is at the moment going on. Or is it 8? Uh, I think he already won this seven. round, so he's in the next round, yeah. So he's in 8 if I'm not mistaken, or 7. Whichever, <laughs> whichever is the round that goes up next week. But yeah, um, I'm pretty happy to see OST matchups uh, go up tomorrow, Monday. Remember when I was in OST? Yeah, yeah, I talked about it earlier. Oh my yeah, we <laughs> talked about we talked about both my loss and your loss. Don't okay, worry. so skills kitty for 11k, no oh, idea. Oh, what? what? Oh, Blunder is taking Moet. Moet? Um, Moet? Yeah, I think he's gonna, go for, ass, but he's gonna go for. He's gonna go for cheap. Fun fact: If you, in case you guys didn't know, Moet is actually joining the the army at the end of April. So. Oh, Moet went for three k. That makes sense. Um, what what army? Oh wait, is he actually? You mean wait? Yeah. He's actually joining the army. I guess he was yeah, out of months. Yeah, and, at the end yeah. of April. I, I thought it was like a joke, but he's actually at the end of April. He's joining the army. I guess Bruno just wants to pick up. Gonna, how is he gonna do this then? Yeah, that's that's a very good. But I just wanted to no pick idea. up his friend for three k. I can understand it. <laughs> so BTB is gonna understand. 
is back with Does he have an ADV slot yet? He doesn't, right? Potentially, um, what was his name? Um, Donut, does he play that? I'm actually, I'm actually Gene gonna, SP, gonna... I don't know who the fuck this is, but it's an X-ray pick, so... Um, I think that Gene SP, I've heard that name before, but... I don't know who it is. <laughs> Probably, okay, that's interesting. So I don't know who this is, but... It's 3k, so that's a nice steal for the BTP team. And nice and Dennis asking... Yeah, How is he I'm gonna play? Like... I'm actually curious. Like, I mean, if he's someone joining else, the yeah. army by the end of the month, how is he gonna play? So he doesn't have to play. Like, he can also just get I, I have no idea who. Heck. Why haven't certain okay. players signed up? Oh, being drafted. That's a very good question. Why hasn't Colin? Isn't been Hack a Spanish YouTuber? Isn't Hack a Spanish YouTuber? I have no idea. I will just say that this is super interesting because that's like a kind of unknown player for 3k and these kids just they have 40k left to spend on two players like, Wait, deep, deep posture really go Zomot for legs, okay that's so crazy. legs um, and you main oh. And you, and you, yeah. yeah overlord but I don't know how good he is in yeah. any OU That's the same thing we had with Hootie earlier and Hootie went for 4.5k so I expect him to go around Posho. 6k ish not more So, so far so Yeah, 3.5k so Posho has been the most expensive player so far Hmm. Yeah, I thought Nobody's gonna Porsche go. Went, Porsche went for 32k. 31 or 32, yeah. Something like that. More than uh, M Drag. More yeah, than BKC, more, more, than, more than, John, than Race. Race Covers went for 12. Um, How much did John go? Low Pony Kicks. John went for like 20 ish, something 20. Oh, Low Pony Kicks, Dennis, Italian friend. Um, so, yeah, that, as some people in our chat said yesterday, Low Pony Chokes. I did not say that, I just quoted them. Yeah. Basically, he played Ultra Balls no, for Cup. PO World Cup, and yeah, I think he made some misplays, but for, I only saw the end game, his, so I'm not going to criticize for, anything. I just for his you know. age, for his age, he's actually very, very good. Okay, so then he said he's 14, oh, and how old is he? Oh, he's, like 40. Really? He's, he, he's 15. Yeah, oh, 15. 14, 15. Oh, okay, so I think this guy is like um, definitely somewhat competent. Um, I would say like 7k should be a fine price. Yeah, 6k. Is that young Colin joining or who joined? I don't know. Oh, googly. That Ooh, googly. googly. Like so Ultra Balls to old Ubi's, Googly for um. Yeah, you you latest victim. So oh, googly, um, googly, is googly is the one nobody wants to play. Geez. Yeah, the problem I have yeah, with Googly is that he uses he's a stall or like H no, O no, track no, I, I mean not trick I, room stall screens. No, no, I'm just I saying it's just his, he uses cheese a lot and it's just annoying. I respect his creativity a lot, but. He uses the grimy steam. Uh, yeah, I like some of his stall yeah, builds, yeah. but like, yeah. The stuff he uses just looks so annoying to play against. Like <laughs> yeah, because if you prep for I, a stall I, and he has a different stall that is not standard, then your team might not be able to deal with it. Yeah, or, never, or never if you prep. Was it, wasn't he. Sorry. Or if you prep for stall and he, he brings like screens, like, then you yeah, just kind was, of. Exactly. Wasn't, wasn't he the one to, to like create triple defog? Uh, he used, no, tri he used triple something. birds with Dougie and ulti. Oh, triple birds. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that was funny. Well, and he won. Yes. I mean, <laughs> his opponent was Farden, and I think Farden only called because he stalled. Um, no offense. But that's what I heard at least, that he's not that great. And he didn't play that well in yeah. playoffs. Yeah. Okay, so Googly, um, I don't think he should go for much more than this. Maybe 14, and then they should stop. There's oh, he's, he's going for a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, um, Black Oblivion like, earlier went for like a lot more than I expected as well. Like 22, I think, right? Something oh, Black like Oblivion that, already got picked. That makes sense. Yeah, both How much did uh, Fist go for? Both is, I don't think. I don't remember. Like It was between 21 and 25k. I don't really remember. It was like 23-ish. Okay. It's interesting to me. Lopony Kids got picked up by TDK and Pearl's team. Hmm. Okay, so the the Castellia yeah. server, so Eternal Spirits team got Googly, and their team is like still super weird, but they have nine players now. Heck, still skitty. So like half of these players I've never heard before or don't know them that well. Yeah, Eternal Spirits team is very weird. I mean, Luigi's pick was obvious because they're both like Brazilian bodies. I'm gonna piss. Don't ruin the auction yeah, in the next uh, minute. Uh, yeah, my my grade. Yeah, Luigi. Yeah, don't. I'm gonna piss. Don't run. Zomok and CL are gonna nom someone. Okay, so they have uh, 17k left for two players. The team looks quite oh, solid, BTB actually. actually. BTB actually did get some Den guys. Yes, exactly. Yeah, he got. He got you be. I mean, FMG is oh, like yeah. not really a den guy. He's not that active. But oh why? He's still a friend. Uh, he's, from he's there. He's, you know, he's yeah, he's still there. Friend from Seal. 
Um, okay, Blagrafago is still in OST, but... Okay. Oh, Blagrafago, so yeah, this guy, I don't know what to say about him. Um, I think he's decent, yeah. I'm not, I, I'm not saying anything. Him, but oh, that is oh, this dude is always annoying everyone. <laughs> okay, everyone. Shield actually, just... actually, yeah, that much I can say. I, I think he's annoying. Annoying for sure, but else. he's not a bad player. I'm not saying anything else. <laughs> Oh wait, Dennis, I'm gonna PM you. Okay, so, um, yeah, I've heard some people up. say that he sometimes gets carried and he's at all on other yeah. people, but I don't know if it's true, so I'm not gonna say anything yeah, about that. I've heard I still that think he's too. somewhat solid and he can play on his own for sure, uh, but yeah, I, like, I just don't know I mean, anything about it. That's just I mean, that's the thing with this game, you never know. Like, about 7K. That. Yeah, but if he's in OST round 7 and he did that on his own, then he's definitely good. But, yeah, okay. but I'm saying you don't you don't know that. Yeah, I don't know that. I don't, so I don't know the isn't Askov? Yeah, wait, wait, Dennis, check PM. Isn't Askov like okay. a friend from Tombas, or am I mixing no him up with someone? That's what you're talking about, right, Dennis? Blago Fargo? Or I mean, you get what I'm saying. Castellia mm -hmm. servers for three K. Okay, Avon got known by um, BTB, and I know that either Meeps or Zomok also might upbid him, and even Blanda upbid. Okay, so um, Zomok. Oh, Colin is getting beat up. Nice. Uh, nice Colin nice. said that he um, is probably gonna go for 5k, but he's going higher. So I guess we can say he's gonna go for like 10 ish. No, I, I predicted Colin to go higher than UB. You did, you did. 10? And I think he's going 10k would make sense. I mean, all I, these people I think know he's going him. Higher than 9K. He was an SPL. You can see that he like he knows what he's doing. Um, laddering videos where uh, he and BTB peaked the ladder uh, on my channel, and also like, like just when I like um, narrate games with him and he's in call, like he always just knows what's like, up. Well, I he's told pretty, you that he's, he's going pretty fire. Like, he has a lot of. He's going higher than you. Be. He's a lot of knowledge about the game. Uh, I knew this was gonna happen. He can mainly play Gen Colin Seven, but he can more, play Gen Six as well. He's also more known in the scene. And he can just like, help no. building in the background, even if he's only benched some weeks. That doesn't take away anything from UB, but like, I just have a feeling... Yeah, 10k, that's a uh, fine price, and... Mm -hmm. Hot commodity, a yeah, Finchinator is a big fan of Colin. Apparently. Yeah, I mean, he's on his, um, he's gonna be on his World Cup team, I think, I'm not sure. But that's like the country that he, A1 would play for, I think it's Finch country, if he would play in World Cup. I'm not sure exactly, because I think someone got, some rules got changed for World Cup. A1 just went for 10k and I didn't touch him. <laughs> nice under by that I mean nice under play. <laughs> Who is okay, this navy guy, I, I, I know something about him. So basically this is a like a guy that has been playing the game for quite oh, three K a long time. Like I don't think he's great at all, but he's apparently he has to be like a close friend of Blunder. He's like a, a moderator. Yeah, you can see that Blunder just sometimes it's... picks up people for three K, like yeah. Moet. He's a he's he's the a navy. moderator in Pokemon server and he play the ghosting tournament in the same team as Blunder. Oh, okay. I so I guess Blunder, some, some, some of Blunder's picks are just his yeah. friends, which makes sense. Um, Corrie named Snagger. No, it doesn't really say, tell me anything. <laughs> I don't know who that is. But yeah, Cory has been getting like a lot of like low money picks. Um, and they, they already have 11 players, Cory and Value. Your team is actually fire of Mary P and CDC play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me change the music again and pause it real quick. Okay, so CB Jose Altivo Corvettes has nomed HT. So I think his name is Harry Toenail, which is disgusting. So I should have just said HT. Yeah, Harry Toenail. And Harry yeah, this Tonell. guy, I think, played UU in SPL, or did he? He uh, played some lower tier in SPL, actually. I don't know which. But it makes sense that he only went for 3k, because I don't mm -hmm. think he's known or he has played OU much. Okay, subject 18 is another friend of OB or Maddie Brolic, so it makes complete sense that we see him um, here. I think um, he's like some mod on the forums, not sure exactly, but I could see him going for 7 or 8k. Oh, oh, I, another guy I'm expecting to get drafted is Kado, to be honest. Yeah, Kado and Insult are the other two I'm expecting. Um, like Insult could be a steal for 5k for black and white for sure. Um, yeah, I. Like, I don't know how good this guy is, um, I think he's also friends with NJMP and he has potential, but I wouldn't think he should go higher than 8 or 9k. Yeah, it's like mainly Obi and Manny Brolic that won him, you can see here, and they got him for 6k. So uh, Obi and Manny Brolic, they got their team of friends, and they got 11 players already. And they got 3k left to maybe snatch some other friend up, we'll see later. Okay, oh, Terry Blanket. 
I no idea who that. Actually, I do have an idea, but I don't know how good he or she is. Three K. Okay, that's what I just said. They might just get someone else for three K, and they just did it. Okay. So now they have twelve players, and their team is. That's the first team that is finished. Urban. I have no idea who that. Um, and they got twelve players, and the team actually doesn't look bad. Like um, Teal, Black, Oblivion, Rob, Ricardo, Gypsy. That sounds pretty fire. And DJ has potential. I I, I might be biased, but I really like BTB's team. Um, so Orm for 3k, yeah, no idea what it is. So now Cory's gonna nom someone, and Cory's team is already. Yeah, it's already has already has 11 players, so it's pretty much done. They can just try to get someone else. Else, um, BTB's team. Who did? It? Let me check his team real quick. Um, yeah, that's like the main reason why we're recording this, because um, BTB is be managing in this M -Dragon, often. M Donut, Ultra Bolt Analytic, X excellent bitch, yeah. FMG. Uh, yeah, he got Avon and Ultra Bolt, so he got two of his guys, of his friends. Yeah. Too, too, bad, too bad he missed on Eternal. Oh, the most fun part about this is, um, BTB made like a sarcastic joke earlier that he would never pick up Avon or Ultra Bolt, I think. He said those two names. I would yeah, never pick up these two bastards or something like that, he said. Yeah. Like maybe <laughs> he didn't say that word. Maybe it was a different word. And yeah. I think he. I think he called them losers. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah, BTB gonna get mad that I said that, but it's fine. I don't care. Shout out! Shout out to Blunder. Blunder saying before he said, "Then of his produ producing hot commodities." And yeah, knows. I don't know. Do you know if Kanto signed up for this tour? Can you look up for me if Kanto signed up for OUPL? Oh yeah, I'm. I'm Just go uh, through the list because if he did and he didn't get normed yet, like something is wrong here. Yeah, I don't think he did then. Yeah, he probably that didn't, right? Wrong. That but I thought I saw his sign up. Okay, so Spectia's love. This guy played in the Den 2 before, uh, which is our Discord. Oh, yeah, he's a... So yeah, he's not that well known. Um, he plays in. He, he qualified for his Span for Spanish ladder tour, and I think he also um did oh, some. Oh wait, I, I think I think I know I know who this brown people wearing polo shirt is, but I cannot remember the name. Well, I have no idea who that is. Dude, what kind of a name is that? But I just yeah, know that, that Spectia that, that um, is, is somewhat competent. And he um, plays in Spanish. Truly. I think Kato got known. Who Kato got known? By oh, BTB by nice, X-ray. Nice. Okay, so Kato is. Kato's pretty Kato's fire Kato's and. Free K, free K, steel, free K, steel. Ooh. Oh my! God. That's a joke. You should have gone for seven or eight. Like what? That's a. That's a steal that's as solid. fuck. So BTB getting all our, um all his guys from our Discord chat. That's exactly what I like to see. Cause he now he should have he, sh he should have got a turn M. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he f yeah. That's the one. He, this is the only one he fucked up because he wasn't looking at. Yeah, him. he was about he typed to typed too fast. He typed four. Oh, Swapa got numb. Oh, Swapa, Eric too. Okay, so Eric is on oh, Eternal Eric Spirits team. Um, I guess BTB just. Already had enough Sun and Moon Oyo players or Auras players? Or does BTB not have money left? Yeah, BTB only has 3.5k left. But yeah, his team is pretty much done. 11 players, so you can try to get one. Oh, Zamiaro got known. All the Den people. I mean, Zamiaro left Den the other day, mm -hmm. but. Um, some people like him, some people don't like him, so there was some beef in our chat. That's all I'm saying, I'm not gonna get into detail. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nah, let's not go into that. CL nommed him. Um, I think he should go for like 5k, maybe 6. No, okay, he goes for 3.5. Um, yeah. CB Jose Altovikorovitz have 12.5 left and they have how many players? They have only 8 players, so they need to get like cheap players. So it makes sense that they numbed him. Um, DK, I don't know who this guy is. But I think he's. I've seen his name on the forums and I think he had some sort of badge or moderator or admin oh, sta status. I don't remember though. Maybe I'm wrong here. Kaori? Doesn't Kaori play doubles or am I wrong? <laughs> so yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, goes for 3k. I, I, think, I think so, yeah. Yeah, goes for 3k makes sense if it's not an OU main. I don't follow doubles. So yeah, pretty much all the teams are done besides um, the CB Jose Alto Bacavet and uh, the BKC Psychic Mutu team. And uh, just, the just call him, just call him Meeps. It's so much easier. Yeah, usually yeah. I do that, but sometimes I throw in different. So the CL Zomok team, the DDK Paul team, still have some players missing. And the team. Well, there's like some other teams that can still snatch up some player for 3k. Mm -hmm. Like uh, BTB's team. Um, yeah, he might have been able to get a tournament, and then he would have been out of money now. But I mean, he has enough. He has enough players for. Is Finch the host? Yes. Okay, okay. 
Uh, Finch played in this last year, I think. And he stalled Gypsy and like he took a timer win and it was like funny. There was like some. Like it wasn't really drama, it was like. Kind of baby drama, I guess. Like I can understand why you take the win in the team tour. But it's also kind of scummy. But I do understand why. Like you, you, if you don't take the win, then your team can blame. Like your team might blame you for it and attack you. I know how this shit works in team tour. Because Zomok uh, has nomed stacks. Isn't this another doubles player? Stacks and Kaori, I'm pretty sure. Both doubles players. So yeah, it makes sense that it goes for like no money. Uh, Sprout Power, it's a CL Zomok team. So CL Zomok team has now 10 players. Like, I don't know how I feel about this, but like people that don't even... Like, I don't know if these people play OU. Uh, I hope the matches are gonna be good, because otherwise I'm not gonna be interested in recording them. Like, I'm just gonna like try to record one of the games, but if they're bad, then I'm just gonna stop recording. Well, with SP, I kinda did different, I didn't care. Oh, false. Okay, so this guy is like... Um, you were right about Kari is indeed same VGC, which I'm who I'm pretty sure went 0 and 9 in either Snake or something else. Oh, but he did, I think he did well. In, didn't he do pretty well? He but, brought the didn't isn't that the guy that brought the Raiders to tiebreaker twice? I don't know, but maybe I'm thinking about Snake or some. But yeah, some, the um, false guy. I think why he went for 3K only is because he's pretty busy and he doesn't like. Mm -hmm. I think he like gets subbed out quite often. But he's a good player. Um, Oh, Praji, BTB is beating on Praji. Okay, Praj Pran. So, yeah, BTB doesn't have enough money. My boy, fuck you. <laughs> X ray going mad. Okay, so Blunder got him for 4k. That was a steal because, um, yeah, BTB couldn't up it because he only has 3.5k and now X ray is mad as fuck. So, I mean, there's only gonna be. There's mostly gonna be unknown players, non, because most teams are broke. Besides the the Blunder Jirachi team, the Blunder Jirachi team can still get some goats. But yeah, did you check for me? Uh, is did Kanto sign up? Did you check that, Dennis? Mm, I didn't see his name, so I don't think he did. Okay, so he didn't sign up, unfortunate. Yeah, he would have been known by now if he signed up. Uh, otherwise, these people have brain damage. JK. <laughs> okay, so Groudon, um, no idea what he plays, but I think he beat uh, Aim yesterday in Smoke Tours. So oh, yeah, Meeps Groudon, got, yes. um, Groudon. He, he did Pokemon yesterday. And he still has 9.5 for his last potential last player. Um, I guess he can still get like 3 cheap 3 3k players. Okay, I, so Pop Shop Man got nommed. Um, yeah, he's gonna go for no money because teams have no money left and he's. He's kind of known. I think he helped um, Paul build for ulti. He makes some fire HO sometimes. Um, but I think he's pretty busy. Oh, Sama, Sama gets um, numbed by Blunder because, uh, yeah. Blunder's friends with Sama and I know like something that is going to happen in the future, but I'm not allowed to talk about it. So oh, I, mean, I know about that too. Yeah, but just don't talk about it because otherwise I'm going to have to cut it out because Sama's going to kill me. Okay, thanks. Okay, so I, don't, I don't know about that, so maybe you can tell Sama me. Sama for 3k, I'll tell you after the video, I'll PM you. Um, mm -hmm. There's gonna be some interesting thing, I guess. There's not a model for to choose who's a player. Who's BTB? Is yeah, give us a minute this quick. So BTB wasn't ready to nom someone. Uh, they only have 3k left. So yeah, they have to. I mean, doesn't he? Does he? If he doesn't have enough black white players, then he could try to nom insult, um, which would be fine. Oh, 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 now I get it. So. Uh, I I found I finally remember who brown people wearing polo shirts is. Who is it? He's a, he's a he's a German player that goes by the, on Discord. His name Pazzi G. Oh, he's I've heard that German. name, but it doesn't tell me that much. Yeah. Okay, so Bloxy, who is that? That sounds like a in Pokemon. Why? Bloxy. Why Bloxy? Actually, I do know who Bloxy is. I don't know why. What tier does he play? Tell me. Tell me. He's from Pokemon Discord. I don't know. I actually don't know. I think he was an other metagame player. What the hell? Okay, Bloxio, um, BTB got him. Uh, he probably plays some tier where I didn't have that many players yet. Uh, but I have no idea who this guy is and how good he is. So yeah, no comment, I guess. I don't think he's because he's, good at all, he's friends with X-Ray. Or... No, that's my opinion. Okay. This song is horrible. So let me change it real quick. Never mind. There's someone else known. Um. Rodriguez, okay, so there might be some Brazilian Portuguese Spanish player. Finalist of Ghosting Tour. So yeah, he went for 3k. Um, 
Because that makes sense, all the teams are broke and there's also some, some player that's like probably not that known, so he's gonna go for cheap. So Eternal Spirits team has 13 players now, kind of crazy. Um, they have like a lot of 3k steals, uh, 4k steals like easy. Um, which like I already explained earlier makes sense why they went for so cheap, because you don't know how active they're gonna be or how good they are because they took a break. I think if you took a break for months, yeah. Um, so CL zone, no Meru. Uh, so this guy, I think he plays all the Johns. Uh, I think he can play Gen 4 and 5 for sure, maybe even 3. Oh wait, so, Sama got picked up for OUPL? Yeah, for 3k by Blunder. Oh wow, what the hell? Oh, the Castellia okay. Sivers, um, they have 14 players now, so he turns Spirit's team keeps grabbing all the players. So Shade, who is that? It's not Shake, it's just Shade. <laughs> Like, I just can't say anything about the players that I've never heard. But apparently it's someone known because they're upbidding and I would assume uh, he plays older gens. Because if he would play gen 6 or 7, I would have heard his name. Because I follow pretty much every gen 6 or 7 tour game. Like, at least S tours and stat stuff and like SPL. And I've never heard that name in there, so... Must be like another I know, tier that he the, bla the Black Seal, the Black Seal pick really surprises me. I'm gonna have to ask BTB. I mean, to be yeah. fair, they only got like some. They only could have gotten like someone for three k, three point five k. So like they would not uh -oh. have gotten a no well-known player anyway at that point. And I guess that was the only one they could think of. I don't know. I'm not trying to taunt out this guy. Maybe he's actually good. So I'm gonna let my let yeah, him surprise uh, like, from me. From what I remember. From what I remember, he wasn't impressive, but maybe he got better. Okay, Shade for 10k. I have no idea who this guy is, but cool. Um, on this Strident City, which is... Um, which team is Strident City? Spaghetti. Oh, it's TDK's team, right? Okay, so TDK and Pearl... Coconut. Now I have 9 players, and still 13k left. Yeah, but yeah, Kento didn't sign up. That sucks, man. Coconut for 3k. Another player I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Me um, so I guess it's pretty much done by now. There's just gonna be um, Blunder's team's gonna be picking up some people because no one can really up with him, so he can just pick whatever he wants, kind of. But I guess we can look at here what is who's left. Then as the menace is left, let's hope someone picks him up as a joke pick. Um, Genesis nah. Seven, I could see him getting picked. Uh, JYT Campbell, actually not a bad player, could see him getting picked. Kevin Elf, I think, is still in OST, so maybe he might get picked. H-Cross, um, not that bad, could see him okay. getting picked. Hey Bernard, Dennis, uh, friend, aka not <laughs> friend. I don't know if he's gonna get picked, I don't think so. Mashu Maru to sign up uh, not for not Discord. <laughs> um, the Good Ninja Warrior 21 sign up for not Discord. Snowy, I could see Snowy getting picked um, from Oceania. He's still like a solid player. Oh, and yeah, Snyder, Snyder is solid as well uh, for Aras. So that's an option for sure. But yeah, Major looking, Bowman looking through this, like there's not that many known. There's like no one. Wait, Ma Major Bowman is besides. like is like a doubles god, but he signed up for black and white. Who the fuck is Sprout Tower Sprouts? I don't know. Yeah, Major Bowman. Shouldn't go for that much though, right? If he's a doubles player. Maybe for 6 and then it should be it. So the TDK team is gonna get him. That means they have 10 players if they get him. Yep. Uh, so it's pretty much... Oh, they have 11 already. My bad, my bad. Every team has 10. They have 11, okay. At least 10. Oh, it's Blunder's turn. Blunder's yeah, Blunder can um, pretty much choose whoever he wants because he has the most money, if I'm not mistaken. 21k left. Who oh, is CM Metro? No idea. Yeah, that's either one of his friends or some underdog that he knows about. No idea. Jeremy, change the music real quick. Yeah. Okay, so apparently Blunder's gonna pick Padlob? Because Blunder just said. Blunder just said, Welcome to my team, Padlob, in our Discord. So unless he's trolling him hard, um, Padlob is gonna get drafted soon. But we will um, have to wait, because like no one is making a pick. Um, but yeah, this is like funny here what Jirachi said. CTC, Moed, or Mary P plus Valentine for 13k uh, on Blunder's team. <laughs> but yeah, UB is playing for all your room Premier League. So I guess I'll okay. click on that match real quick. 
Um, is Sylvia playing for OST or what game did he just link? I think he's playing for OST and he linked that. But yeah, we're gonna just um, we're gonna watch a bit of Ultra Balls or Room Premier League game until the, these guys pick up someone else. Okay, so we got Ultra Worlds vs. Real Flame Victini 13, and yeah, the dimensions are fucked up, so never mind, we're not gonna watch it. Actually, we are, I can drag it real quick. So here you guys can see uh, Ultra Balls brought his team that he made for the Dog workshop, please. which is like, um, Clef packs Pharaoh Balance, one of his favorite playstyles, with Mega Lopani. Uh, really? Lopani definitely <laughs> appreciates the hazard support. Oh, S Silvio is playing the trap goal for Yeah, OST he is playing, too. but I can't really watch two games at once. So, yeah, this is okay. Rox CM Clefable. Um, I think the Gliscor might get scared out here. It's default Gliscor. Um, obviously, this Clefable is amazing because it keeps up Rox. That did so much that I guess he's forced to roost or switch. Yeah, yeah roost. But yeah, pretty much what I was trying to say is this is a scarf trend because it helps him check pincer, and it can has an, it can have a nice surprise factor. Even though in my opinion it's kind of obvious on this team that it's scarf trend. Um, then it's I think toxic packs with Payapa it helps you toxic Volcarona, uh, check Volcarona and toxic um what's it called Tabulele because this team's kind of annoyed by Tabulele. Well, no, it does Ferroblast trend. You can check Lele. So he goes for Scarf HP Ice there. Um, so the low punch, I think, I think it's fake out Ice Punch with Turn High Jump. He doesn't have Power Punch, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But I do get White has Ice Punch because it's for a revenging offensive Lando. Offensive Lando is quite a big threat for this team. But yeah, let me see um, if the OUPL draft is going on. Like if it's, did it move? The OUPL draft? I think uh, someone made a pick. Uh, Z yeah, Z Z Z for 3k. Z Did anyone else get picked before that? No, that's the only one we missed. Uh, Z then for 3k and yeah, from um, Meep's team. Palop, Palop hasn't been picked yet. He hasn't been picked yet, but whenever Blunder turn is, I, ho I think he picks him unless he's a big troll. So yeah, we can just keep watching Ultra Ball's team. I think Ultra Ball's actually uh, his game, I think, for Eurum Premier League. He doesn't have a too bad of a matchup. Uh, I think he can win this, so he just gets the rocks back up. Since he is ZX and there is a lot because this Pex is mainly Spadev. Uh, so he went for Earthquake there, covers the Pex and the Tran. So um, the Pivot and the Glisco might be a bit obvious. So I could see a Dragon Claw come out. This could be a uh, Roost 3 attacks or. Um, yeah, it could be DD 3 attacks or Roost 3 attacks Zard. Um, like, yeah, that's what I'm expecting. Also, what is this team? What is the scar for? I guess it could be scarf. Lele or Gwen. I don't know if we saw that yet. We can just rewatch, I guess, the earlier turns to get information. Did the Gwen or the um? Did the Gwen or the Lele hit the field yet? Is my question. The Gwen just hit the field and it doubled out, predicting the packs. I think. Oh, you got the Greninja on the HP eyes and he doubles it out. Okay, so that makes sense. We don't know the Greninja set yet. Well, Scarf Ninja could help him check Volk, I guess, but it's also kind of impossible to prep for Volk. Oh, it's it's Blunder's team turn. Okay. Slick Willy, who's that? Um, my dimensions got messed up, so I don't know what to say now. I don't know. Who is? Who's there? Dude, my dimensions got super messed up. I don't even know what I did. Dude, how do I fix this? Anyways, I'm just gonna show you guys here. Um, tennis Ace got picked up for 3.5k. Um, I think Tennis Ace oh, was... So tennis so Ace is a manager of the Tigers for um, SPL. Or was the manager apparently of the Tigers? This, apparently this slick wheelie guy that got ball for 3k is a meme pick. Quote unquote. No, not to offend anyone, but that's what I'm getting. Slick Willy? I mean, his name sounds funny, that's all I'm saying. So he got bought by Blunder, and Blunder still has money left to buy Padlock later, if he, um, unless he trolled us and he's not going to pick him up. Uh, now, always gets picked up for 3k. No idea what he plays. 
Oh yeah, let me pause and try to fix the dimensions. Oh, I guess we can keep watching Ultra Ball's game. No, there's a bit. Who is that bidding on? It's Chiba? Wait, I've heard Chiba. Who is that? I've heard that name. Who is that? I don't know why the dimensions are so fucked up. Let me try to fix this somehow. It's like impossible to fix. Maybe this is better now. You can watch Ultra Ball's game here at this side. Wait, where is this game? Never mind, we can't watch it. Um, what happened? So Shiva for 3k. He plays uh, Gen 5 to 7. Like, I've heard that name before, but it just, just doesn't tell me anything really. Just heard him once. TDK Nom G Mars, I think he plays old chance, but I don't know. And he went for 5k uh, for TDK's team, um, which means that team is finished now. So TDK's team has 12 players. Uh, they got a double OU player. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, Perry for 3k. Yeah, like, bloop. literally, I don't know who these guys are. They're getting picked up now. Blanda Nom Siko. So yeah, Blanda's just gonna buy a lot of people with all the money he has left. He's gonna have like the most players out of everyone. Uh, he already has 16 players. Oh, I guess uh, Eternal Spirit also has 16 players, but yeah. Oh, he got Pelo. Blanda has more money left. Yeah, and he did get Pelo. Okay. So he didn't lie. Nice. Um. Yeah, Boymo's dope. Oof. So that guy lost to Ultra Boss in OST last round, I think. Why is he getting... Why is he getting joint server? <laughs> did he get how many did he get of them three? Wait, what wh where did you read your boy most dope? Blanda did what? nom your boy most dope. But he already oh. had nom padlop, so he couldn't nom two. Oh what? That's Oh he he actually did nominate him, what the hell? Yeah exactly. Uh Porsche or Lola, nice fake Porsche. Why? I mean Suave is a competent player, but I, I don't I don't get some of these picks, not gonna lie. 3.5k, um, so now the team is finished from Eternal Spirit. 70 players, like this team is super weird. Like I don't know who Perry, Posh, or Lola, M. Rodriguez Pusha are. Lola, like this Pusha team Lola is, is like, weird. I don't know who Steve Kitty Corazon is. Are. Damn, Sylvia lost game one, by the way. Yeah. Um. Oh wait, I got nominated? What the Ooh, fuck? Ooh, there's the dentist! The oh, Dennis. Okay. Are you fucked? Kinky. I mean, you just gotta chill on the bench, chill. Yeah, I know, but. What do you like, mean? Aww. I mean, it's Blunder's team who's buying. Like, Blunder's team is. Blunder's pretty much buying all his, of Ames Discord or his friends or people that he knows. Do, do, do the managers play or. They don't, they don't. But, like, you can look. Blunder's team has 19 players, and yeah, the chance of Dennis playing is quite. not exist. Doesn't are exist. You, are you actually kidding me? I'm just kidding, it kind of exists. Did did he say anything about it in then yet? No, I'm. Oh, Blanda has not Exam Raptor, so Blanda's just buying yeah, everyone I, now. I I I I don't I don't know what to say about that. But I, the, I'm glad hello, I you're not even happy that you got picked, damn. What no, no, I I'm, I'm I was just about to say I'm glad I got picked. But... <laughs> See, Blanda's just buying everyone. Like, like I'm not trying to hate him. It's just funny to me. Mhm. Mm and he can't afford to do that because he had money left. No one could up it, and he could just get some people he wanted. Okay, so now um, it's pretty much done. Well, it's it's gonna be nice uh, being in the same team as Brofist and CTC. I, I must. Say. Oof, young Dennis trying to get some lessons from Mr. Brofist the God, JK. From Mr. Bro, now that wouldn't even be that bad. Okay, okay, so here we have all the teams finished now. Um, you can see Porsche was the most expensive player. Wait, blah blah is saying. Time to win OUPL LMAO! <laughs> Brovis went for 26. Oh, so I mean the same team as Palo, Sama, Suave, okay. Um, who are the cheapest 3k steals? Let me look at the most steals. DJ Ricardo for 3k, kind of steals. Uh, K-Dot for 3k, big yeah. steal, big steal. 
Then it's yeah, the menace. Ah, uh, maybe a steal. I'm not no, gonna go. No, that's in. not a steal. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So, so it's control. over. Yeah, it's over. I'm just talking. I'm just going through the prize list here. I would consider myself a meme pick, 100 percent. That's that's I am, interesting. I am the best meme pick. Okay, so we have um the immortal fountains with um Dragon Ample Donut, Exolan Avon, Ultra Bolts, FMG Batch. Analytic blocks you SPK. Okay, so BDB got four people from our chat. And I think Analytic is also his friend, right? But I'm not 100 percent sure. Um BDB's team looks pretty solid. Uh I just don't know. Like who was gonna play the old gens? I guess Bet you might be able to play old gen. Uh, either Exeline or M Dragon could Auras. Well, look who else Auras. Analy could Auras. He's pretty solid at Auras, yeah. Um, FMG could Black White. Either Avon, M Dragon, or Ultra Balls, or K Dot can Gen Seven OU. Yeah, and about the other gens, I can't really talk. And yeah, Donut is DPP, right? If I'm not mistaken, so he's gonna DPP. If, I really hope I didn't mix that up with a different gen. It was, maybe it was ADP. I think it was DBP. But yeah, the... The TDK team? It's a TDK team, right? The Spaghetti and Pearl. Uh, yes, yes. TDK so and Pearl. they have like... A new main, a doubles main. So like, I don't really know what to say about this team. But McMagan is a fire pick. I honestly don't think this team is that great. Um... Yeah, like if I would if I would have to make a viability ranking, um, like w like a ranking as in not viability power ranking, so I would I'm just gonna look at every team and then I'm gonna make a ranking afterwards, right? Like just kind of what I think. Um, maybe I'm not gonna be able to rank every team, but I'm gonna be able to have at least like the two teams that I think are the best, right? Uh, BKC here, a load and psychic me too. Say so the Sprout Towers teams is really good. Is that? Is that Zomax team or which was managing the Sprout Power? Sprout Tower, I can't talk. Can you tell me which manager was managing the Sprout Towers? Dennis! <laughs> okay, see, hi. But yeah, this team is looking really powerful. And then this is the Blunder team, right? Brofist, Dre, Scarface, Roscoe, Prush, Pran, Easy. Look at Blunder's team, dude. He got two expensive players and then like the other players all for no money. This is so funny, dude. Um, I actually don't think this team is bad or, at all. But I think BTB's team is a little bit better. Now, CB Jose Altive Corvettes. Uh, AKA Meep's team. Porsche of LCL. Well, in my opinion, this team is like. In the middle, in the middle. I would like give this number like, like number four maybe in the power ranking. I don't think this one is that great. Maybe number five. Um, BBC Kings actually not a bad team at all. <laughs> yeah, I think this this, this BBC Kings. Uh, I will maybe Wait. make the number three or number four. What? Does 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 anyone does anyone have a list? Or like, I'm not that's what I'm looking sure. at. The list is in the chat. Like, mm. I'm just gonna like pause it, I guess. And if I find the list, then I can make a better score. No, no, I'm just gonna do this right now. Reese Kings push just chill shadow legs. Uh, Reese Kings bush just chill shadow legs. Okay, the hasty hydrants, um, they have like. Four solid players, and then they have like some unknown players, uh, and then Eternal is super fire as well for 3k. So yeah, this team is good. It's just hard for me to rank all the teams. So I think Eternal Spirits team is. I would rank this team relatively low. Um, I guess number six in the maybe. Like I don't really want to rank a ranking which team is the last, as I don't want to hate on any team. But I would put them a bit lower. And yeah, I would put BTB's team definitely top three for sure. So yeah, top three I would say um, BTB's team, then the Sprout Towers, which I don't even know who who's managing them. Can you tell me? I'm gonna pause it and look it up. 
Just a quick update here uh, about the Ultra Premier League game. So yeah, Ultra Wars did win that. Nice Hazard stack and CM Cool Fable. Okay, okay. And yeah, I'm just gonna I'm waiting for someone to post a pacement with all the teams so I have a better overview. But I would actually think BTB's team is like top two even. I said top three earlier, but yeah, it's pretty they should do pretty well. Okay, so there's M Dragon where Sidumas going on for um for OST. And yeah, I wanna record game two and game three live. So I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna talk about the OE room about the OEPL teams now. I just wanna say that the the BTP team is super fire and uh, the one team that got I think BKC that team is also super fire. They had like other good players on it. And yeah, Blunder's team doesn't look bad and Melly Brock's team doesn't look bad. Those are the four that I remember that should do well. Uh, but it's kind of hard because I don't have the teams right open here. But yeah, I'm dragging just six old Sidumas for OST game one. So yeah, we can just look through it real quick, I guess. So discharge para full paras him turn one, paras him turn three again as he knocks him turn three, okay. Basically, um Dragon and Zy got destroyed, so they both have knock clef. I don't think game two started yet. Did it? Just making sure it didn't. Okay, I'm gonna record game two and three and because this is OST, this is like the highlight match of the round. Also yeah, this is probably a spikes furrow thorn. As I don't know why she almost doubled into Alakazam, that was kind of weird to me. Um Oh yeah, he didn't want to get knocked off obviously. Yeah, that made sense. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense then. What am I saying? Um so Steeler can go for a leech or heavy slam. He doubles out the Heatran, uh breaking the Zygarde into the Lando. Oh that's the clef, okay. So this is not toxic turn. This is the set that Sidumas uses all the time. It's like Magma Storm, Protect, um, Taunt Earth Power, right? Spadef turn with some speed. This is CM Bolt Beam Ladi. I assume recovers the last move. Who got it? Ice Beam's the Heatran on the land of switch. Uh, I assume it's a Scarf Lander from Sidumas and he tried to bring it in and you turn out. Wait, 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 game. Huh? See, it's already over. Yeah, I'm it's watching. I'm rewatching game one pretty much, just for the viewers. Oh, yeah, it is he old. got obliterated. Yeah, dude. six old. Oh. So now that how do you, how do you lose? Huh? How do you lose to Zygarde when he has Clef land? Clef is paralyzed, so. and it got full power at turn twenty-eight, so he didn't get the Moonblast damage off, and then he just died, and then Tornadus comes in and he protects on his Sky Strike, so Sky Strike does no damage. And Landris died earlier because he predicted him to go land on it. He like he tried to go land on a T-Bot from Larry and he ice beamed and killed the Lando. So it was well played by M Dragon. Uh, I like him. Team. Yeah, it's I cool. But yeah, thank you guys I for watching. And yeah, like sorry about the ending because I didn't talk about the teams. But yeah, hope you guys still enjoyed and peace out. And thanks to my guests.